Oh yeah, you can't hear me. Haha. Uh -huh. Get japed, chat. Get japed. I was definitely not shit talking you. It was all according to plan. Yeah, fuck that. Uh, Flame Rider, yes. It's what I use. Mr. Scooty and Flame Rider are pretty good. Bomb. <laughs> Craps out a bomb at the end of the at the end of the race. That's how you do it. That's the way you do it. You play the guitar on the MTV. No, that ain't working. That's the way you do it. Money for nothing and chicks for free. There's an Isabel and a bup. So there's a bup on my there's a bup on my tail. Is what I said when I was muted. Nice. I still have my triple banana intact. This is good. Nope. I'm gonna miss some of those dash panels. It doesn't matter. This track is just go fast, the track. That was a bad collision. Not that it matters. Oh fuck, I made it. I somehow made that. All right, that's all that matters. Now, can I outrun the blue shell? I can, but for how long? Pretty damn long, it seems. Yeah, take me out here. That's good. You know, I was gonna take the, the shortcut there, but then the game just fucking denies me. How's it going, SB? Just warming up in Mario Kart. Like the weirdo I am. Going good, that's good to hear. Ah, uh, fuck you, Toad. Ian, it's like you're here in spirit. It's like you're here in spirit. Just being a bup. Or as they call it, a bup head. Ha <laughs> ha, I am the big funny. I'm the big funny, ha <laughs> ha. Right, chat? I'm definitely comedy. You know, I, I dress up as that guy in pink hair. Yeah, that's comedy right there, folks. That's comedy. I make weird dad jokes and puns. Yeah, that's comedy. I'm definitely not super annoying. Yeah, comedy. <laughs> um, smart steer. Smart steer is is only uh, useful if you fall off the track constantly. Well, there could have been better spots to get hit by that. Way better spots. But I digress. Hey, butt boy. <laughs> butt boy. Let's play some base bup. Oh, I hear a boomer. I, I did a little bit of trolling to Toad. So I guess that all works out. I'm gonna get back to full size before I hit that, uh, ramp, and I'm gonna absolutely fuck the ramp. 
That sounded lewd. Um, yeah, that was terrible. Okay, 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 okay. All right, let's go. Don't know how I did that, but all right. Pull that out of my ass. Pull that out of my ass. I am happy with that. I am happy with that. <laughs> Ian's just like, bup. Yup. Bup. Alright. Give me some money. Can I have some money now? Can I have some money now? Oh, I ran into that. Man, I shell someone and I get shelled. Mess with the bull and you get the horns. Ah, crap. Ooh, this is a good item. Or triplets of items, I should say. Hey, hey, bup. <laughs> he ran right into me. He got Beybladed. Big time. <laughs> wow, Alex. Wow. Just wow. Shit, man. I just got double japes there. I am very sad. How is the AI that skilled at throwing bombs? Since when were they that good at throwing bombs, man? That was scary. That was like a player that threw that thing. Okay. Not a great place, but alright. Ah, crap. Ah, crap! <laughs> Let's get hit by every item. Every, uh... <laughs> huh? <laughs> Let's get hit by every single item that is that affects everyone. Checks out. Hello, Kira. How are you doing? Mm, excuse me. Alright. If anybody would like to join in the lobby, you're welcome to. Just... <laughs> oh, you know, I'm not gonna make that joke. I'm not gonna make that joke. I was gonna make a bad joke, but I'm not going to. Oh god, there's a Joseph. Oh god, there's a Joseph, and he... You And your, your profile picture is still vegetable, from Dragon Testicle Z, as we like to call it. Prince Vegetable. Hello, Prince Vegetable. How confident are you in winning? Over 9,000? Nah, he's deafened. He doesn't want to hear me. Excuse me, no, I had to fix something. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> How dare you? <laughs> What is that from? What is that laugh from? Which laugh? The ha 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 I think that's like, uh, have you ever seen... I don't know why that reminded me of it. Have you ever seen that live-action Cat in the Hat movie? I don't think it's that, that. Like, that's laugh. I don't know if that's that. I don't think so. Oh, ha 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 Yeah, I'm 90% sure. Either that or it's like a... Lame impression of Goofy. 
Wow. Also, there is a bot in chat. Let's get rid of it. You yeah, was it a big follows? No, we. I don't have. I don't get those anymore. Oh, nice. What I get is those bots that lurk in chat. And I also get Haas bots, but we don't talk about those. Yeah. Feels like every other day it's like Haas, and then it's like Haas underscore manage, or Haas underscore, like how many words are in the English dictionary? There are quite the amount of words in English dictionary. Quite the amount. Too many for a completely native speaker like me to remember. Even though you act like it's your second language. Butunch. Sorry, you know I had to do it to him. Oh no, yeah, I know. Oh, so you more, you more or less get the big follows too, Kira. But um, yeah, I don't get those anymore because I guess they only flag people that have like less than five years average or something. I don't fucking know. More yeah. even even then, like I literally blocked like almost half a million bots literally two days ago or a day ago. So I don't have to worry about any bots like auto following me or I don't have to worry about any old bots following me. There can still be new accounts made. But I don't have to worry about any old bots anymore because they are all banned and blocked. They literally if I block you, you physically cannot follow. Fun little fact. If you block someone, that person cannot follow your channel. Be it a bot or otherwise. And if they are followed, the, they get unfollowed automatically, which is kind of weird, but I guess, uh, I guess it makes sense. Yeah. Hello, Harrison. How's it going, man? How are you doing? Yes, the llama bup. Oh my god, yes. I love the llama bup. Major shoutouts to Gyarados fan or Kira here. Uh, she made that for him, and I love it. Possible new apartment. Nice. Didn't you guys already move like a year ago? I don't know. Maybe it's just me, but like, you guys are on the move. You guys are on the move. I have respect for it. Oh, you moved one door down. Oh, okay, okay, okay. Okay, I was about to say, like, you guys literally just moved last year. I mean, like, holy shit. <laughs> but no, one door down makes sense now. Well, one door down does make sense. Troll month lease. Ah, okay, gotcha. Yeah. It's hard to wrap my head around that kind of stuff because I guess I guess I've just lived in a house all my life and I'm ne I've never been accustomed to that. I don't know. It's just probably just me being like naive. I don't know. I'm a very naive person. There's a lot of stuff I have yet to learn in life. And when I do learn it, it'll be quite the experience. This new place is massive. Uh, is it cheaper than what you're paying for now? At least I hope it is. Oh, moving isn't great? Yeah. Mo mo uh, moving is very expensive. It's a bit more? Ah, uh, okay. Just figured I'd ask. Oh god, I almost... I almost bombed myself doing that. That was a very stupid idea. I nearly committed suicide there. 700 square feet bigger. That's quite the size. That is quite the size. Ooh, balcony. So you can take all the beautiful sunset photos you want. Well, if it faces... If it faces east. It probably doesn't face east. Maybe north or west or something. I don't know. Alright, which one? That one. 
But a fireplace could be really cozy during the winter. That sounds really cozy. Base is northeast. Oh, so you you would get sunset. You get the sunset then. Oh, you're right. It rises in the east, sets in the west. I'm fucking stupid. My bad. <laughs> I have my head in the opposite of the right space. I had it in the left space. Huh, I am I am funny dad. I am funny dad humor person. Right? Right? <laughs> Okay, I remember because I, I, I swear I took a picture while I was uh, like facing the Atlantic Ocean. I, I took a picture. I thought it was at night, but no, it was closer to the morning when uh, so yeah, I guess the sun does rise in the east. I completely forgot about that. We all have bro moments, chat. We all have bro moments. It's something all humans do. Well, you are lucky. You got that blue shell literally a second before the uh, thing happened. Yes! I did it! I did it! Thank you to whoever dropped those mushrooms, because I just did a nice old dodge there. I am happy with that. So much LC on the ground, I used it to my advantage. I am the big happy. Okay, um, Dragon Drift Point, sure. Make you, make you guys hate me. Well, I mean, it's pretty even, given that you're picking fucking Rainbow Road 8. And of course it gets picked. It is awfully quiet. It's quiet. Too quiet. Fine, boom. <laughs> Insert the rock eyebrow phrase. Why did you pick Brazil? 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 Oh my god. Holy shit, how am I alive? Okay, we're good. That went on the left track instead of the right track. Aw, oh, damn, I'm out of bombing range. Kira, I got a sore throat as well. It seems that everyone's been getting a sore throat recently. <gasps> no! Fuck, that's not good. But yeah, I have a sore throat and, uh... Like, some sort of... It's not congested, it's... In inflamed, I believe. So I've been having something similar to that. It seems a lot of people I know have something similar, which is kind of odd. Doesn't make sense. There's free LSD, and there's also free dumbasses jumping off the fucking track. And Alex immediately caught up. Holy shit, dude, you just flew off the goddamn track. 
And so did I. Alright. Hey, thank you for stopping in, Harrison. I greatly appreciate it. Tell Anna I said hi, and I hope, uh, I hope you two stay safe. Bitch! Bitch! Oh my god, dude. I feel so japed right now. I feel so japed right now. I am so sad. I am so sad. I am so sad. Yo, yeah, potato. Like, probably, probably weather stuff. shift. That was impressive. It's I probably a uh, weather two shift. People at once. First, I crippled Jacek with a green, and then I crippled Dev right at the end with a red. And, and, th and then you Beybladed me. As I was yeah. trying to take a second shortcut, because you're you're an absolute dick. You fucked me over twice in a matter of a minute. You went for oh, a double aye, item, aye, and I aye. just Beybladed. You've been hit by... You've been struck by... A turtle. truck. Hmm. I mean that, too. You've been struck by a Mercedes GLA, actually. The all new Mercedes GLA. Hit anyone with it. We don't care. Oh yeah, go into I'm the I'm doing pretty good, Kato. How's my Garmin? Uh, how's my Garmin friend doing? Truck, truck Kun reincarnated you? I don't get the joke. No, 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 Joseph, Joseph, it's car sex, and it's from Just Cause 3, and it's... That's an inside joke no one will get unless you're my brother. Or my friend Gabe. If you, if you, uh, if your friend Gabe was playing Just Cause 3 with you, and grapple two cars together, you get the joke. Oh, Don't God. you fucking dare. Don't you fucking dare. Don't you, you absolute Don't I cunt. What? Don't I what? You cuntus absolutus. What did I do? You basically tailgated me that whole time. You tailgated me? What do you mean? You were on my rear. <laughs> did you do that? Honestly. Did you yes, do I that? Did. Yes, I did. God damn. I can't Trained even be mad banana at that. Sniper. I legit can't be mad. Yo! The Garmin with the three months. Thank you so much. I also wanted to leave you a sub. Thank you so much, man. I appreciate it. You gotta admit that. You'll be going to bed soon? Hey, I hope you get some good rest, man. Hope you okay, get some I got another rest. banana. You want to? You, you want to experience a case of deja vu? No, I want you to experience an explosion. No, I keep slipping over my own banana. Hold on. That was actually my banana because Link laughed when you took it. Oh. Well, nothing comes. Well, you can't really compare anything to that banana snake. All right, dude. I hope you get some good rest though, because uh, everyone needs that. For some reason, I've been. I've been going to bed. I've been sleeping in my bed, just resting there. I probably go to bed at midnight the past two days, and I'll wake up at 5 or like 4.30, and I'm like, dude, I could definitely sleep another couple hours, and my body's just like, yeah, you're wide awake, bud. Tough shit. So I just lay in there until 9, and I'm just like, why? I just want to fucking sleep. <laughs> I just want to fucking sleep, man. Ugh. The truck thing is a joke that on an, an anime trope that people are run over by trucks wake up in another world. Oh, okay. Oh yeah, the whole isekai truck of like good fortune, yeah. I sad. did not understand anything you said there. <laughs> <laughs> this is the problem of being a non-weeb. It's like there's it's like your weeb friends speak Japanese except they don't. <laughs> I wish. I can I can barely speak English. I wish I could speak Japanese, man. That's the dream. Konosu, is that the one with the, uh is that the one with Kana? No, 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 that's Dragon Maid. Yeah, that's Dragon Maid. No, Konosu Maid, is yeah. the one with the Aqua Girl, right? Yep. Okay, with the little blue ball in her hair. Yeah, like, like, blue hair, blue dress. And there yeah. are many, many 
depictions of her being drunk. Um, I'm just gonna say that much. Uh, but yeah, there's a little bit of that. So yeah, that's the one, okay. Yeah. I believe, like, her whole thing is, like, she's useless, but she's, like, best useless girl, right? Best useless? The fuck? So what you're saying well, is she's a... In, like, a fun way. She's a sex toy. Wow, Kato. Wow. Very mature. Unless you're being dead ass. So what you're saying is she's useless like I am in real life. Okay, I did just roast the fuck out of myself, but alright. Um... Let's do eight races. She literally says that? Oh my god. What the fuck? What? What? At that point, you're just asking for it. And by it, I think you know what I mean. That's like inviting criminals to do shit to you. Just saying. That's inviting... Well, not just that, Kato, but inviting criminals to do certain things. But I digress. You don't just go state that shit out loud. Guys, I have a million dollars in my house. I live at this address. It's like saying shit like that. It's like, you don't go fucking saying that because you basically paint a target on your goddamn back. Wow, Joseph. Wow. Am I wrong? No, but shut up. No. Hi, Wa. William Defoe. I swim in it. <laughs> How do you do, fellow kids? What is up, fellow kids? It's how do you do, And doesn't he have like a skateboard on his back while he's saying that? No, no, he's holding the skateboard and he's got like a random cap on. Yeah, yeah. He's like bending over with the skateboard. How do you do? No, though, kids? Kato. No, I'm not interested. I've stated this before. I'm, I'm not interested. You like red? No. You like bomb? Um, red absorb bomb. <laughs> red absorb bomb. <laughs> no. I don't know why I laughed at that so much, but I did. No. Red absorb bomb. <laughs> oh, question mark. Bomb vores shell. <laughs> Nah, shit! Indeed, I mean, I spun mind. out into a, whatchamacallit, into an item box, so I'll take it, I guess. Still, that's kind of a rip. Your face is a rip. No, you're a rip. You're a rip hey, roll. Do -do 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 -do. Never gonna give you up. Never gonna let you down. I'm gonna run around and desert you. I like how rough you're competing in the Lucius Devil on his Sunday morning drive. Oh yeah, just Alex on a Sunday drive as Red Yoshi. Yeah. Yeah. He's just casually uh trying to get to get to work in uh yeah. Washington DC. He, he has to drive through the airport. He's driving in he's driving on I-495. Stuck in traffic going five miles an hour. Cause, he uh, accidentally took a wrong traffic turn. sucks. I mean, I have cataracts, so if I try to drive to the airport, I'd probably drive through the airport. <laughs> oh, God. Drive into a plane? Yeah. <laughs> okay, okay, okay. You reminded me of something. You remind me of a Russian video where this guy drives a car through a Russian airport. And, um... It's it's quite the entertaining thing, especially when you have gas, gas, gas playing over it. It makes it even better. What do you but, mean? Let's gas, 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 gonna step on a gas. It basically has that song playing over it, and it's one of my favorite videos on the internet. 
Bro, that's just a regular Russian Sunday. What do you mean? <laughs> You're not wrong. And then on a, on a regular Russian Saturday, you have a guy smoking, and then uh, the vapor from vodka that he was drinking, he sneezes it out and just becomes a flamethrower. <laughs> Friday, they have fights with bears. And then, on, no, on Fridays, they have fights with bears. I just said that. Oh, you said that? Okay, I'm stupid. Well, yeah, I'm pretty sure that's how Putin became president, is he, uh, wrestled a bear. President, won, more like, uh, pseudo-elected dictator. That's more President, more like is. a mortal god. god. Yeah. He gets elected as the one thing, and then he gets elected as the other thing. And basically, any time, uh, there's a re-election, the other thing, uh, be gets to be the more or less dictator for the next election period. So basically, he just swaps with this one guy every election period and is more or less dictator of Russia every so amount of years. That's how it works. Yeah, just don't tell the Russians that or they'll get mad at you. Is because I believe it's like they have a blog you can't serve more than eight years straight in Russia, but they don't actually have a term limit in Russia, so that's how Putin is just able to yes. like skip every other term or so and just No 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 no. Yes, that's exactly how he's supposed how he's able to do that. He alternates with this other guy. And this other guy is more or less just his crony. Pretty much. Like I guess technically not a dictator since it is like their constitution, but yeah, it's still kinda like tricky, like you it's... Know, tricky tricky mess. It, it shouldn't be allowed. It's yeah. it's still like a monoparty, kind of oligarchy thing going on. Yeah. That's why it's good. We have, like, here we have, like, Who the, the whole fuck drove the Twin Towers thing. into yeah. my planes? Wow. <laughs> this man doesn't need to drive planes. He literally drives the fucking Twin Towers to the planes. The fucking Chad. Virgin Virgin Terrace drives plane in the tower. Chad uh, Emperor. The Chad Internet God Emperor drives tower into plane. Ah shit. Oh god, that's gonna hit me, isn't it? Nope. That's gonna hit you, though. Yup. I love Waluigi. Man, it's just like, I saw uh, you playing that DDR game, like, the scene Waluigi and Mario dancing together. I'm not sure, like, what it is about that, uh, Wari, or not Wario, like, Waluigi player model with, like, his skinny legs or something, which just looks so funny. Dude, if you ever watch me play Mario Party, it, it uses the exact same player model. Really? Yeah. Dance Dance okay, Revolution Mario like, Mix the uses thing. the exact same engine as Mario Party 4. And as we all know, Mario Party 4 had a Waluigi player model baked into it because Waluigi was a playable character. Actually, I think it was the Mario Par Party 5 engine, but still, I digress. Yeah. Will it be Waluigi? I kind of hope it. it I I kind of hope it will be Waluigi because it'll get all the fans to shut the fuck up. And Sakurai will basically go like, "You ungrateful bastards! Here's your fucking last character now. Shut the fuck up and leave me goddamn alone." I, I just want that to happen just as like kind of a spite against the Smash fan base because the Smash fan base, as we all love and love it dearly, is a toxic pile of waste. Um, I just I, I just want it for the irony, I guess. I just want it for the irony. But it's probably gonna be like Crash Bandicoot or maybe I don't know Sora. Um, from oh, yeah, Kingdom Hearts. Oh no, there there's many different things it could be, and then there's some things that I wouldn't even think of like I didn't think of Kazuya because I don't play Tekken nor do I really know much about Tekken I'm quite ignorant to Tekken because I just don't know much about fighting games and that was left field for me when I heard that was announced so I hope it's not another fighting game character I mean we already have like what Ryu and uh, Kazuya and uh, uh, 
what what's his face from King, King Terry of Bogart. Fighters? Terry Bogart, thank you. We already have like five different representatives from five Ken. different franchises or something like that. I feel like if we do get some character from some left field franchise, it's probably gonna be Sora. But that's my take. And again, you're talking to a guy that doesn't follow up follow up with Smash anymore. I don't care for the f for Smash as a game. I don't care for the fan base. I look down on the fan base. Very, very, very crystal clear with that. I hate the fan base. But um, I definitely would like to see certain character, like one of those two characters, make it in either Sora or um, or Waluigi. Exactly. I'm just in it for the memes at this point. Like, fuck the fan base. Fuck the people that like. Fuck the core fan base of Smash, just in general. It's a terrible fan base. But I'm uh, at this point, I'm just here just for the lulls. I laughed my ass off when Steve was in. I laughed my ass off when Steve was added in. That was that was quite a moment. And that was quite a moment in gaming history. That was quite a moment in gaming history. Having having a character that was not only just a Microsoft IP, I mean sure. We had Banjo before that. Banjo I was actually really excited about because we could probably get a Banjo game soon because of of people now knowing who he is. But uh I don't know. Oh like Banjo Kazooie? Yeah, Banjo Kazooie. Uh. Oh that electricity hurt. That really helped me. Really helped me. The Joker announcement was pretty cool. I didn't know who Joker was at the time though because I live under I lived under a rock when I found out who Joker was because I didn't know anything about Persona. I still don't know anything about Persona. Other than that, uh its fan base is toxic. But I feel like I, I, I have a tendency of saying that with literally any fan base I talk about. Um I'm just gonna be frank with you, Chief. Can I not... Can I not fucking get hit and get denied my chance at winning? Okay, that's great. But yeah, I'm, I'm... I have to admit, back in 2018, I was very ignorant and didn't know half the franchises I know today. And and there's a running joke in a Persona uh, fan base. Like, don't mess with us Persona fans, we haven't even played the games. Because that's more or less what it is, it's true. The only game they played is 5, and they haven't played 4, Golden, or 3, Portable, or 2. And and I've and don't get me wrong, I've heard great things of those games. It's just, I'm not a fan of high school RPGs. And that's what Persona is. Persona is a high school RPG. And I know that's a very specific genre, but those games can go dozens and dozens and dozens of hours. And, um... When Hitler was final boss... I don't believe you for a second that Hitler was final boss. But no, that that the, that franchise, the games last dozens of hours. Just the main story lasts dozens of hours, and I'm not for that. Those games bore me. Um, it's nothing I have against them, it's just that I have the attention span of a goldfish, I have ADHD. I can't be entertained by a game for basically more than 40 hours. Once I hit the 40 hour mark, I get immediately bored of the game. And this has happened with me with Octopath Traveler and many other games, actually. It's just, I can only play a game for so long, specifically an RPG for so long, before I get bored of it. And that's why stuff like Undertale and Mario and Luigi suits me well, because those games are just short enough that I can enjoy them, and just long enough that I don't go like, man, I want to replay it again. And sure, Undertale is on the shorter side, don't get me wrong, but uh, it's definitely a enjoyable... It's definitely an enjoyable game. And I definitely want to try to do a, uh, a pacifist run or a uh, genocide run sometime. Don't know if I'll do it on stream, though. Because I've also... Uh, I've seen gameplay of Sans, and Sans is really fucking hard. Can you not, man? Fuck's sake. I actually want to look at that image now. I want to look at that image now, because 
I want to see if you're jesting or not. If if Hitler was actually like the bad guy in Persona 2. But yeah, I've I've good friends that really love the Persona franchise, and I'm just like, yeah, if if it's for you, it's for you. Um, in fact, I heard recently that people have gotten Persona 5 Royal, uh, running on a PS4 emulator called Spine, and um, that kind of makes me excited because I know a lot of people who will definitely enjoy that in the future, once a uh, PS4 emulation is uh, on its way in. It's still in the baby phase. You're not kidding. It's literally Hitler. What the fuck? Hold on. I I need to see if you're making shit up. Persona 2 Final Boss. You're not lying. You are not lying. You are not lying. It is literally Führer. What the fuck? What? In Japan, he also was called... No fucking way. I, 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 I can't believe that. That... I... <laughs> How? How is that allowed? <laughs> I mean, you couldn't get away with that shit today, man. You could not get away. And it was- oh, it was censored to fear in America. Gotcha. And it was probably censored in Germany as well, I assume. Because I know Ger uh, Germany has so many laws like, Oh, you can't post a swastika, you can't have Adolf Hitler, you can't have any reference to Adolf Hitler. It's- Germany has a lot of dumb laws, and I know you have a lot of dumb laws in Germany. The game didn't even release in Europe. Where, like Germany went Ooh. from one extreme to like the other in like a hundred. They went years. from they went from literally gassing people to go like, oh no, we must not we must not show any flags or anything of our history. Meanwhile in America, we have our Confederate flags, and meanwhile in Spain you have your Francisco Franco statues to this day. And neither of them are really cancelled. I mean Confederate flags are starting to get cancelled, which I think is stupid. I am very much fine with people having a confederate flag uh, hung up at in their house. Uh, like, literally, the flag, there's this though, one the band, the there's this one band the called Leonard Skinner that I love, and one of the album colors literally has a confederate flag on it. You got a problem with that? Nazi symbols in video games are allowed again? Oh, so like, in Wolfenstein, for example? As long as they're portrayed as the bad guys. Okay, so yeah, that makes sense. That makes sense. I, I, I understand that. That makes sense. But like, banning them outright, I, I feel like is basically more or less you're impairing freedom of speech. Um, uh, regardless of, regardless of what some people think, that is very much violating freedom of speech in my opinion, and just justifiably. Oh my fucking god, get back here, god damn. Yeah, Germany had quite a few autistic laws about that. I'm just gonna put it kindly and say autistic. But, um, they definitely, uh, I'm glad they fixed those. Because, uh, yeah, I, I definitely have some disagreements with how they treated that. Because you're more or less trying to hide the guilt of your history rather than, uh, rather than mention that, oh yeah, it's bad. Instead of saying, oh yeah, it's bad, you're like, oh, don't mention it, we're gonna cry. You definitely want to mention history because history is important. And and denying that is just denying history. Brian, I apologize for not responding to you. Um, yes, you can join in. Yes, I'm doing okay. I apologize for not responding to you. We are getting in a heated conversation. I love talking about this stuff. I deem it very important. Baby Mage, how's it going? We were just talking about um apparently Persona 2's final boss is Hitler. So we're talking about that. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know why, but we are talking about that. We have devolved into that kind of conversation. <laughs> but yeah, Brian, you're more than welcome to join us, man. <laughs> Bro <laughs> yep. I literally did that on purpose because I know everyone, everyone, their mom uses that command. Yeah, history is very important. It's also the same thing with like Washington Redskins. It's that white, white savior syndrome. We try to get rid of the Native American names for teams 
and because it's quote unquote racist, when as a matter of fact, if anything, it's honorary. It's an honorary term. We have the Washington Redskins because they're like it's literally in honor of the natives that we basically stole land from. But no, you can't have them as the Redskins because that's racist. You know who said that's racist? White people. Not natives. White people. It's a double standard, guys. It's a double standard. Instead of honoring history, we try to deny it. It's disgusting. And it's become popularized. It's even... It's filthy. I'll take it. I'll take that lightning strike. Oh, fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my god, no way. Okay, what the fuck? You got hit by that. You got hit by that. How do you join the lobby? Did I outround the blue shell? You can mushroom dodge it. You can mushroom dodge it. You can mushroom dodge it. It's it's like a quarter second of uh, frame precision, but you can do it. Um, you have to add friend code. You have to add my friend code, and it's located in the Mario Kart channel. And uh, yeah. Gonna attempt to move your router. You left me something a meme channel. Oh god, what was it? Oh yeah, let's look at the meme. Now that Joker's in Smash, Hitler is now canned in Smash Bros. Thanks to him being in Persona 2. Oh my god, really? Really? Oh my god. So yeah, literally in the American version, all they did was just like spice up his hair, give him shades, and like maybe a different sports coat or something. Like, what the fuck? Wait, wait, if Hitler is canon in Smash Brothers, then that means William Joseph Blazkowicz is going to be the next Smash character. <laughs> if only. Oh, yeah, yeah. That would be funny. That'd be funny, wouldn't it? That'd be funny. Imagine that for a second, guys. Imagine that. Just fucking William Joseph Blazkowicz as the goddamn next, as the goddamn final Smash character. That'd be amazing. That'd be legendary. <laughs> okay, no. That's bad. That's bad. That's bad, man. Mario Kart channel. Yes, Mario Kart channel. Very top of the channel. Reading is fun. I say that, yet I can't read half the time. I don't pay attention half the time. Blame it on my ADHD. Oh fuck, how did I dodge that? Oh, cunt. I guess it got rid of the banana there, but I kind of didn't want that. Oh my god, dude, Alex, what the fuck, man? I'm getting brutally assaulted. How did that not get rid of the banana in front of me? Fuck. Mate, now I'm just getting item spammed up the wazoo. Now I'm just getting item spammed up the wazoo. Yeah, let's bring it. Let's bring it. I love this. I love this. I love this. Oh my god. Life is pain. I hate this.
Oh my fucking god. Well, that's a load of shit. Ah, yeah, you did. Dude, that last race was spam. Purified spam. Literally, you could you could go to fucking... I don't know, Monty Python or something, and go to that skit and get some spam with your eggs and spam. Because goddamn, that was mm, ridiculous. Sam spot sausage eggs and spam! Oh my god. All right, A races. Yeah. That was with normal AI too, and somehow all that sh shit just happened. And normal items, I might add, as well. Hmm. Oh my god. I love that meme. I love that meme. Thank you, Mage. Very inspirational. Very inspirational. Great meme. Yay. Oh, time to lose again. Wow, I completely missed a coin. Checks out. It's okay that I don't. I, I've. No, you know what? I've already beaten this joke with a dead horse, so I'm not gonna make the joke. Aww. I've already made the Sudetenland joke too many times. The checks are already out. And he's fucking leagues ahead, because of course. Mate. Yeah, um, I have a star. I should not be having a star. Oh no, look at me. I'm ten seconds ahead. <laughs> Finn, you not! Stop the run shell. Hmm, I'm choking. I'm choking in my own throat. I don't know. Stop throwing shells at me. You need to, you need to focus on the other person. Throw it at him, not me. Oh my god, dude. Wow, thanks, game. This game is out for blood. Blood, sweat, and tears. Yes, lazy town jokes, yes. We are number one. I guess you could say after this race, I am number one. Now listen closely. Here's a little lesson in trickery. This won't go down in history. If you want to be, uh, villain number one, you, uh, you caused the Sudetenland crisis. <laughs> oh, fucking no. Uh, I don't know where I was going with that joke. Hello. Hello, Sesley. How's it going, Sesley? Jack's Edge. Jack's Edge. That sounds like a location. Jack's Edge. 
Poor JFK as the weird number one guy impression. What? What? What are you saying? Also, Joseph, I think your mic is out. Yes, I know I changed your name to Sesley. F-U-X-K-U? What does that mean? F-U-X-K-U! What does that mean? Cole, I don't seem to understand! What does F-U-X-K mean? I know what fuck you means, I don't know what fucks k you means. Wow. Already this game is shitting. Uh, life is pain. You did not just see what happened, chat. You did not just see all that crap. You did not just see all that fucking shit blow up in my goddamn- Oh, Pog champ. Okay, 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 okay. Fuck you. Yeah. Fuck you. Fuck you. Fuck you. Oh my god, I am super happy out of that, after that. I go from getting rolled, steamrolled, to, uh, <laughs> being the troll. From steamrolled to troll. How to be Jacek in Mario Kart. <laughs> Okay, we're good, we're good, we're good. Hey! Fuck you! No! No! I'm with the science team! <sighs> Bonus points if you get that reference. Oh my god, <laughs> lightning at the worst possible time. Mate, fuck you. Huh? He was... Huh? What? What? You guys saw that, right? He was a uh, he was in front of me. What? I wasn't the only one that saw that, right? I am lost. Yes, Half-Life Earth. You watching porn alone? No, I'm with the science team. <laughs> no, I'm with the science team. <laughs> I swear I was in third and I got second there. The fuck? Oh, I yes. am. No, she. Mind has exploded. That green snipe was not me. <gasps> Sweet! Bye, have a great time! Damn it. Get him. He didn't have anything to cancel that. That's good. Wow. Look at that chrome. <laughs> Fucking meme. Meme no one will understand unless you played that game. 
I want to play that game on stream. It's another racing title. If anybody remembers Cars Mater National growing up, I'm pretty sure I'm the only one that played that game growing up. Very good game on the Wii. Very nostalgic for it. Had a lot of good music in it, too. It had, uh... A lot of music, a lot of classic rock was in it. For a Disney game, it was quite impressive. This is one of those few really good Disney, licensed Disney games, in my opinion. Kirby Air Ride, that is a game I have never played. I played F-Zero GX, though. GX is amazing. I love F-Zero GX. Great music. The controls are pretty tight. I have to say some of the level design sucks ass. Um, basically, any course... The, the courses that you can fall off of easily suck. And that's more than half of them. I just have, like... There's no lack of two or anything to save you. If you go off course, you basically explode and lose the race. Which I think is very stupid, in my opinion. Um, if they fix that and just basically pulls you back up, like, lack of two style, it'd make, it'd make, much, uh, it'd make it much easier and honestly much more forgiving. But uh, they don't do that, sadly. Mater's Tall Tales for the Wii. Nice, dude. Nice. But yeah, Cars Made International is one of those games I just, like, I feel like I was the only one that played as a kid, and I enjoyed it. I'm getting pings. Re... Yeah, I should play Mater National sometime. I don't know if I'll do it on stream, but uh, it definitely the music is pretty good in the game. Sadly, it's licensed though, and as we all know, Twitch uh, and well, it's not Twitch, but it's music companies today. If you play their music, they fucking get mad at you for no good reason. It's like it's like they get all hissy because oh no, you're playing good music. We're not- we're not okay with that. Oh, be quiet. You've already made your money off of your damn albums. Half the fucking people that you publish albums for are dead. You're a bark, so you're a- t uh, so you're a dog. So what you're saying is, is that you're a dog. So what you're implying is, you're a dog. You're a tree? Ah, oh, damn. Shit. Don't assume my nationality. Ha <laughs> ha. Uh. You sly dog. You caught me monologuing. <laughs> oh, God. I love that meme. It's a good meme. That could be it. That could be it. How'd that bus taste? Oh, I didn't taste it. It's quiet. Too quiet. Dulac is. Oh my god. I love that Dulac. Who remembers watching Shrek the Dulac little song that plays when Donkey pulls the lever? Who remembers that? Let me get the Dulac song.
You remember that, but in German? Oh god. <laughs> oh god. Oh, that probably sounds even danker because it's in German. Wipe your face, do lockies, do <laughs> I love that. <laughs> wow, let's do it again. <laughs> oh my god, I love that meme. It's not Sesame Street. It's uh, it's Shrek. It's Shrek. I'm not even joking when I say it. It's Shrek. It's literally Shrek. <laughs> it's when they go into Duloc and just just before uh, fucking uh, I don't give a damn about my reputation plays and Shrek basically beats the fuck out of so many knights. Really good part of the movie. Mate, how many you got? Five? That was five. I mean, I was in second when lightning happened, so I'll take it. Scared Shrek listens to Scared Shitless. I can't. I can't. That's great. That's great. <laughs> Do lock and ball torture? My guy. My guy. Oh my god. Do lock and ball torture? <laughs> Fuck's sake. Fuck's sake, Cole. Why are you so good at making good memes? There's also a really funny meme I, I looked at. It's Shrek, but every time he takes a step, it gets 5% faster. It literally is nine and a half minutes long. Because that's, that's how quick the movie goes, because he, like, you literally get to see him take so many steps. You see him walk so much in the movie, that the movie ends up only being 9 minutes, because it speeds up by 5% every time he walks. There's also Shrek, but it's only E. So it's E, 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 E. It's really funny. I would play it, but then you guys would get annoyed, and I'd let my ADHD get ahead of me. And I don't want to do that. Also, 69 points. That's pretty pog. And he takes the money. But he gets the red shell. The guy gets hit by the red shell. Why does that sound like, uh... What, whatever that movie is. That horror movie of the guy that... Basically, uh, starves women in the pit. Somebody knows what I'm talking about. What's that movie called? Someone knows what that movie is called, and I can't think of it off the top of my head. Basically, he addresses his... Sounds of the Lambs, thank you. I knew it was like Lamb something. Thank you, Sounds of the Lambs. The fuck? Why are you using a GLA, my guy? GLA handles like ass. No offense, but it, it does. It just does. Like, I'm not critiquing... I'm not critiquing you, I'm critiquing the thing you're using. It puts lotion on its skin or else it gets the hose again. Yeah, it's like weird shit like that. He, he says stuff in like, he says stuff in a weird tense. I don't know how to describe it. I don't, I, I don't know if that's like third person or what, but it's weird. 
It's, it's like a very awkward third person. Very awkward third person. Yeah, it's, it's third person instead of second person. So that's why it's weird. It's because it's second, uh, it's third instead of second person. Because second person would be you. Uh, third person is he, she, or if using plural, it or they. Luigi. <laughs> no. <laughs> GLA gigantic luscious ass. I didn't know you were gay, Cole. I didn't know you were gay. But alright. I ain't judging. <laughs> Bruh, are we, <laughs> are we just shitposting at this point? Chat is shitposting and I'm fine with it. Chat is just being chat. Chat is just chat. Wow! <laughs> just sad wah noises. No, no, no. We're 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 on Mount Wario. We're we're doing happy Wario noises. Wah! <laughs> I don't fucking know. I don't fucking know. Terrible Wario impression. Bye. We love chat indeed, Kira. Chat is amazing. Especially in Chatley's in chat. Or really anyone's in chat, really. Y'all, y'all motherfuckers in chat, I love you. Y'all motherfuckers in chat, I love you. Wario is my sprite animal? Hey Cole, want a sprite cranberry? Want a sprite cranberry? Seriously though, Cole, you want a sprite cranberry? Mate! How the fuck were you right behind me that whole time? How did that plank him? I mean, I had something to block it, but okay, lol. That's not good. Wow, okay game. I mean, actually, that's kind of a blessing in disguise, because that gives me a little bit of a... invincibility frame. Or a... Uh, ability to avoid shit. And he dodged a bomb. He dodged a nuclear missile. Wanna spank cranberry? Wahaha! I've been sponsored by Sprite! Tea time! <laughs> I don't, how, how good was that, Waluigi? I don't think that was that good. But, uh... In your guys' opinion, I think that was a pretty shitty Waluigi, but... How good was that in your guys' eyes? Tea time! I love how he says tea time. I love how he says tea time in Mario Golf. That's one of my favorite things. Time to take a piece. You're making me regret breath. Bruh. Okay, I don't think it was a 1 out of 10. I think it was at least a 4 out of 10. It wasn't amazing, but it wasn't shit either. <laughs> Luigi's more like, oh yeah, oh yeah, Luigi, Luigi, <laughs> two was out of ten. Oh my, we're measuring in was. Wahaha. <laughs> Ever rotten day. Good luck. 
there are so many good lines in Wario World. If you haven't played Wario World, if you haven't even played Greenhorn Forest of Wario World, you're missing out. Just the amount of different fucking lines Wario has in that game is mental. They let Charles Martinet go ham on that game. Absolutely ham. Like, he says, good luck, have a rotten day. There's so many good creative lines that he said in that game that we basically haven't heard since then. It's quite amazing. And then we have a line from uh, Mario Golf uh, for Waluigi where he says, Duh, I hate this game! And then they end up trimming that line in Mario Golf Super Rush, which I find really stupid. They basically clipped it off to where it just says, Duh, I hate. Which I find very stupid. They should have just kept the uh, whole, I hate this game. Two lightnings in a row? Three? Can we get three? No three. Sad. Sad. Very sad. Oh, no, 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 no. That's where you're wrong. Uh, there has been three shocks at one time, one time. Not on stream, but uh, I've seen it clipped in other games, uh, through other people's uh, POVs. You can get three shocks in one, like, within ten seconds of each other. It has happened. It's rare, but it has happened. Oh, not he Okay, yeah, yeah. Okay. No, that makes sense then, yeah. But no, I've definitely seen three shocks go off within, like, a similar time period. It's definitely a thing. Can I make a joke, Joseph? Can I make a Joseph? Can I make a Joe joke? No? Okay. I'm sad. Hey, I'm back. Hi, back. My name's Jacek. Nice to meet you. Um. I swear, the moment when you realize you unplug your microphone and you've been talking to yourself for 30 minutes. <laughs> nice! The moment when I do this and it meets my mic. Kick. Kick. <laughs> And you will never know what I said. Because it's not on record. Lamo. Anyway, back to Yoshi Bike. Okay, okay. <laughs> I could. Here's a really bad joke Boomer Dad posts an image of a limo. Limo. I don't know. I don't speak like a Zoomer. If you get it, you get it. If you get it, you get it. Hi, Red Yoshi. Oh, come on. You almost knocked me off there. That would have pissed me off. Kira got it. Kira got it. Kira got it. I'm happy. Somebody got that bad joke. There was, a, there was another really bad joke I saw, where it was uh, a girl with a, a cowboy hat, and she was driving in reverse, and the caption was, reverse cowgirl? I don't know, I'm a virgin. And if you get the joke, you get the joke.
But it's more or less the same concept. Limo? I don't know. I don't speak like a zoomer. And now we descend into shitty memes. Because that's all we're good at. And mediocre gameplay. And Joe lurking so he can force me to dress up in a cosplay of his choosing. Shudders to think. He's saving his uh, channel points for that. Cease, Jacek? No! Continue! Continue? Continue? Oh my god, clutch. Clutch that. I require some more water. Oh. Oh right, this is full. I kind of don't want to tip it. Let's not tip it. Pouring one out for the boys. Yep, I'm just gonna let it auto select Yoshi Circuit. I don't care. Oh yeah, Yoshi Circuit. Yoshi Joshi Cir Circuit. Yeah! Merka! Fuck yeah! <laughs> Joe, it's a joke. It's a Joe joke. <laughs> Kill me. <laughs> Oh fuck, I got a mushroom too, man. I got a mushroom too. If I waited another second, I could have used that thing and I would be eons ahead right now. Oh, I'm sad now. I'm very sad. But yeah, uh, Kato, since you seemed like, again, I'm gonna go delve back into this conversation about Persona 2 again. Can you explain to me why Hitler is the final boss? Can you explain to me why? I'm like, I don't like, what, why? Why? <laughs> what? What made him think that that was a good idea? Well, I mean, like, Hitler's like one of the baddest guys you can get. <laughs> I mean, yeah, but like, bruh. In a fucking high school RPG, of all things, you, you put Hitler as the final boss, what the fuck? Do like some oh, sort like, of evil kid, some like school shooter kid fucking resurrect Hitler or something? What? I mean, it could be worse, could be uh... Because Atlas wanted to bring some real bad guys? I guess! Like, what the fuck, man? What the fuck? That shit's fucking weird, man. I, I I can't unthink that. I can't unthink unthink that. And he gets hit by none of them. Great. Four shells and none of them hit him. This is fine. The inevitability of death itself. Okay, that's kind of sus, but all right. No, nah, death is just like one of those things for mere mortals. Well, death is a it, death is a construct of life. So honestly, I'm kind of used to it at this point. I've had family members kind of just drop like flies, so I'm kind of used to just people dying. I don't really feel much pain when people die anymore, and I know that sounds really mean and kind of ignorant. 
but it's something that I've learned to basically more or less get adjusted to. And I, I know it seems ignorant, but people go. It's a thing. It's a thing that you gotta learn to deal with. So I kind of don't, I don't, I don't weep for people in my family that pass. If anything, I feel like it's more of a, it's like a good for them that they're finally off this goddamn planet because this place is a shithole. Yeah, people die, so is life, exactly. If anything, I'm like, if anything, I think of it as they're finally off this place. Thank God they're finally off this place. And it's even better when they go peacefully. When it's not a slow and painful death, because I have I have family members that have died a slow and painful death, and that that hurts more than death itself. When it's a slow, painful death, like Alzheimer's or one of your family members falls and breaks a bone and basically is just bedridden for the last twelve months of his or her life, that hurts more than the person dying, in my opinion. So again, that's kind of why I'm I've grown to accept death. I've grown to accept it. It's the things before that that determine how much I feel bad about it. If you go out peacefully, that's probably the best way. And that's the way I want to go. I want to go out peacefully. Because there are many people, many actors and stuff like that, they'll just like pass, pass away when sleeping. That's probably the most peaceful way you can go. Yeah, that's that's a terrible way to go. Terrible way to go is like just before a surgery or just after a surgery. Cause you're experiencing all that pain. Cancer is a terrible way to go too. Cancer is a terrible, slow, painful way. When it comes to like like I know this sounds kinda fucked up, but like cardiac arrest or something where you just like your body just shuts down overnight. It's much more peaceful that way. Because you Some don't have to. Just, like, you don't. Their dreams, and it's like. They yeah. Don't even you, like, do if you don't, if you go to bed and don't wake up, I know that sounds kind of scary to think about, but hey, it's it's a peaceful way to go. You don't have to worry about like feeling pain. There is no pain. You just go. Yeah, I don't know about me. I think like, like with death for me is kind of exciting in a way because like then you finally like. I mean, it's like sad if someone dies, but then if like you're to die, it's like you finally kind of like figure out like the. That's like one of the only questions you can't answer. Is like, it's it's like you enter cre It's like you enter spectator mode or creative mode in Minecraft for for life. I mean, yeah, <laughs> it sounds really fucked cool. up. Because I like, hear like, oh, you might get reincarnated, or oh, you just there. Don't yeah, there are a lot of different philosophies, but uh. Yeah, oh, that sucks, Cure. I'm sorry to hear that. But yeah, it's it's just a thing that I'm like, people that like try to beg for attention because a family member died, I'm like, yeah, I'm sorry for your loss. But it's also one of those things where like, you gotta learn to accept it. You gotta learn to accept it. It's Death is a construct of life, and the quicker you accept it, the less pain you'll experience in your life. And I had a lot of people pass away in 2015. I had one of my, one of my very important family members pass away this year. Um, one of my grandfathers, and then I had my grandfather, my grandfather, uh, my dad's side, both pass away, so his, both his parents died within a year of each other. He was very upset about that, and I understand that, because I would hate to have my dad or my mom pass away, but death is a construct of life. You gotta deal with it. Whether you like it or not, it's a thing in life. And I know that's. Think, like, and I know people like Jasic. That's insensitive. How dare you think that, mate? I'm a very insensitive person. Always have been. You just gotta learn to deal with life. Regardless, life doesn't care about your feelings. Life cares about the effort you put in. And let's be honest, I'm pretty lazy, so I'm probably gonna get fucked. But yeah, it's it's just a construct of life. You gotta deal with it, man. You gotta deal with it. It'd be like scary to be like stuck as an immortal. Death just brings you to the arcade scoreboard. Dude, that is such a gamer mindset, and honestly, that's how I think with that kind of shit. Like 
What when you die, I like to jokingly think of it as, hey, you get to go into creative mode in Minecraft. <laughs> you just or like spectator mode. You get to see you get to see the simulation unfold in front of you. You get to you get to watch society burn. I don't know. You get to watch it in 4K HD in real time. I don't know, that's a weird concept to think about. That's like something from Sword Art Online or something from The Matrix. One of the two. Also, I love never being able to catch up. It's great, man. It's fucking great. <laughs> uh, that'd be a sad thing. That'd be a sad thing to learn about. Congratulations, you're awake from the simulation. Now die. What? Lol. Get fucked, mate. Ooh, God. <laughs> Yeah, the credits roll. The credits start rolling. Fucking, uh, bum, 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 <laughs> starts playing. Oh my god. That'd be some funny shit right there. That's some comedy, Chief. That is some comedy. Can you not, Alex? Oh, yes, I will. Can you not be a douchebag and shove me into a wall? That'd be great. I'd be appreciative. See, I'm not a douchebag, I'm a Yoshi bag. <laughs> Fuck you. That's a bad joke. Can you stop with the bananas? Oh my god. And now, no one will catch up. Yay. I love it. So good. Fuck you. Alex, you're an asshole. I hope you know that. You threw oh, that yeah, behind you, didn't you? Wait, what happened? You threw that shell behind you, didn't you? Yep. Yeah, that fucking hit me. Really? Bitch. Did. Oh, no. And you steal my item block. This is great. Look at how far ahead he is. Okay, actually, this I is... was gonna red shell you again, uh, but then the electricity came, so, uh... Yeah. <laughs> Come back here. No, he won. Throw. It'll hit him half a lap. It'll hit him in half a light year. Just has to catch up to him. Just wait half a life year. Life year? Light year. Bruh. I'm I'm typoing my own my own speech. I don't fucking know. I'm just shit posting with Joe right now. I'm just shit posting with him. Don't fucking care. Do some payday with whom, if I may ask? Let me know if Razor Mind plays. If you know what Razor Mind is, it's probably one of the best songs from the payday soundtrack. Oh, you, you, and you. Gotcha. You! Okay, cringy meme time over. No, cringy meme time is never over. Huh? Oh, 
Oh god, that's too far left, too far left, too far left! And of course it hit the fucking pendulum. You know, you could have gone and hit Toad, but no, you hit the fucking pendulum instead. You wonder why I call him Mr. Game Shark. Can you not slow down to intentionally throw that at me? Only in America you can go to far left. <laughs> no, no, no. You mean far right. You mean far right. Oh yeah, it's like, eventually if you go like so far left or so far right, it's like at that point you're just like a Looney Tunes character that you're a politician instead. No, uh, at that point you're just being a, uh, dictator. Catch up. Oh my fucking god, fuck you, pendulum. That's not gonna hit him in time because he's already at full speed again. Yep. Yeah. Again, this is bullshit. I love getting blocked. Cock blocked, I might add. But yeah, uh, Joe, would you be of interest in playing Payday 2 sometime? Because I got it for a dollar. I literally got it for a dollar on, on a Steam sale, I believe. In July? And I just haven't touched it. There are a couple games I bought during the Steam summer sale. Like, Payday 2, I think I bought, uh... What else? Maybe, maybe. If we can get some people for Payday 2, I wouldn't be against it. It'll definitely be a first for me. And I'm, anyway. I'll definitely play like trash. Because that's all I'm good at is playing like trash in every game I play. Especially if it's a shooter like Payday 2. I'm pretty sure it's a shooter. It is a shooter. But it's also like a stealth shooter. Okay. Who the hell is Speezy? I think he's a, a Canadian. You don't say. Please say who you are in chat. Wow, I missed that. The fuck? And of course, yeah, and I'm gonna block that. Even though he didn't break the item box, because logic. And I don't get a red shell, so I can't attack him. Oh my fucking god, this game can't get any better, can it? Never mind. <laughs> I hate my hypocrisy, man. I hate my hypocrisy. Hate it. Somehow I'm out of bombing range, question mark? Alright, I'm fine with this. I did him dirty. Pull up. We're good. Yeet that into the fucking finish line for no good reason. Where is that blowing up? Oh, it almost blew him up again. That would have been funny. But yeah, I definitely, I definitely would be of interest. If we get more people, I could do tomorrow. If we get more people, I could do tomorrow. In fact, let me do... 
fact, let me do a ping in that one channel. Alright, um, pay two. I can remember the game title. There we go. Who is this Spezzy guy? Please say who you are. Oh yeah, you're a meta user too. Oh yeah. Mate, fuck you. I'm not even in first. Close to the banana peel. Yep, stuff like that happens. Where the fuck did a blue shell go? Huh? The fuck happened? That hit you. There we go. I love when the game lags like that, it's great. Oh yes, I absolutely fucked up that patch of grass there. Yeah! That's the way you do it. Pinball. Nope, pinball didn't hit. No pinball. I don't know who that guy was. Anyways. It's 9.45. We could do a final set of 8 or 12. Yeah, let's do 12. Okay. I don't think that was for my chat, was it, Joe? I don't think it was for my chat, was it? I want to get Twisted Mansion. You got actually rolled? Nice. You got actually Rick rolled. Do 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 do. There we go. 
Who is that for, Joe? <laughs> was that for uh, Payday 2 chat, I assume? Nah, of course it wasn't for me. I don't believe you for two seconds. I don't believe you for two seconds. Okay, thread the needle. Chat is nothing. Ah, okay. I remember when Payday 2 was announced for the Switch. That was an awkward moment. Awkward moment in history. I don't know how well that game runs on a Switch. It probably runs like garbage, given it's a Switch. <laughs> as we all know, that hardware is dated as fuck. That's like 2015, 2016 hardware. And yet Nintendo's still marketing it six years later, or no, four years later. good yeah Alex, you there? Uh, yeah. <laughs> no, Alex died in a car crash. <laughs> uh, I mean... Maybe. Huh? <sighs> There we go. Just got two more hot spots, so I just had to block them. Whites. Fuck them. Ah, oh, damn it! I thought thought the plant would get there fast enough, but no. Stop it with the fucking shells, man. You're scaring me. Huh? No, shells are good. You're giving me anxiety. Oh god, that almost ended badly for me. You know what they say, when I get the shell power-ups, I can act pretty selfish. Shellfish? Yep. I wonder where I heard that joke before. Oh yeah, many places. Lol. Heck W. Oh, fuck you. Oh, wow. You won't believe what this red Yoshi Yeah, I'm not, I'm not getting first place if I keep hitting bananas in really uh, inconspicuous places. Yeah, he's 10 seconds ahead. Again. Oh, so Diev is the one who's uh, doing the banana. Banana rotate. Faster, bun anba, rotate. I would like to get something other than bananas, please, game. You know, something that I can actually use to potentially win instead of have no chance of. Yeah. Game really likes its item RNG tonight. Insert picture of Waluigi. Sipping from a cup, and the cup has your tears on it. Replace your with J6 tears. That's me right now. That's the- oh, actually, no, that's the game right now, sipping on my tears. Well, J6 tears stream win. Caitlin, 
I haven't seen you in a long time. Hope you're doing well. You're probably lurking in chat. There she is. How are you doing? There's a... <laughs> well, is Bup gonna win this? Probably. Because he's Bup. On this track, Bup always wins. The house always wins. You know, I would like to get something other than mushrooms. I mean, mushrooms are pretty nice on this course, but I would like something other than that. I would also not like to get bulldozed by this other Link. Please? Thank you. Oh fuck. Oh fuck, I'm not gonna outrun that. Yup. Ripping pepperonis. That item block spawns right on top of my face. I'll take it. That's not a good sign. Oh, that's definitely not a good sign. Oh, fuck you, game. Mate, what the fuck was that bullshit? I can't seem to fucking win. It's just, oh yeah, you're in first? Yeah, that's a funny joke, man. How about you take five items? <laughs> uh... uh. <laughs> Dies of e internal pain. Uh. So yeah, that first place you were having there? Yeah. <laughs> That's a funny joke, Chief. Hand it over. Oh god, why did you pick this course? Oh my. Why did you pick this course? There we go. That's the way you do it. You can join, yeah, Feras, you can join in. Your block list is almost done now? When did you start it? Also, Kato, I didn't know you streamed. I didn't know you streamed, unless you're just doing it for shits and giggles. Cause, uh, if you're not, if you're not a streamer, I don't see any purpose in making that block list. You don't stream much, but you do stream. Okay, so I'll give you the creator role after uh, after the stream. Or I might do it during the stream, because my ADHD is bad, and you guys know this. So I'll probably do it during the stream. Once upon a blue moon. Well, blue moon happens once every year, so... When's that annual stream happening, buddy? <laughs> Do I gotta wait for next year? Uh, you can't tell I'm being facetious. Wow. Okay. Yeah. That was scary. You definitely did scare me there. Yeah. I mean, you got a you got a notebook with a 3060 in it. That thing can that thing can kick some ass. By the way, speaking of, I got a 3060 Ti today, um, even though I already have a 3080. And uh, you might you might kill me for saying this, but I might resell it for more than I paid for it. Well, you paid 500 for it. I paid 540 for it, and I might sell for like 750. I mean, that, I, that's good profit. Unless though. unless someone want like I have a couple people who might want it, and I might sell to them for less. 
because uh, I have a couple clientele that um, are looking for graphics cards. It's just, I don't know if they'll pay up for that. Because it, it's kind of a demand kind of thing. Yeah. Especially I, now, like, I now already got a 3060, just a 30 plain 3060, not a TI, but a plain 3060 for uh, for one of my clients, and uh, I think I charged him like probably like 550 or 600 for it, and then he sold the 2060 that was already in his build, and um, I think he sold that for 500. So basically, he just paid 100 dollars for a 3060. Like the amount you like, this is the time to get graphics cards and sell them. This is the time, even if like you have like an old 960 or something, like in an old build, you could sell that for a couple hundred right now. It's ridiculous. It's absolutely fucking ridiculous. I sold a 560 I had, an RX 560, for like eighty dollars because AMD GPUs suck. Sorry, no offense, they do. Um. But hey, it's better than not having one period. Some now people some people would rather created graphics gamer. Some people would rather deal with a glitchy fucking graphics card than not having one at all. And I guess to those to those who are brave, are brave. I personally prefer my NVIDIA cards because they aren't known to break as often and bug out with drivers. And especially with the Vulcan drivers and the OpenGL drivers, AMD has pretty decent Vulcan drivers except uh, for uh, Ryujinx and, um, and just Yuzu in general. Switch emulators basically break every time they update the AMD drivers. But it's, it's rare use cases like that which suck. So emulation is basically a no-go for AMD cards. Yeah. And lots of course you do like the very like minimal emulation like NES games or Atari 2600 games. They, like, well, I mean Dolphin, Dolphin works just fine on card. AMD graphics cards but also Dolphin literally runs on a fucking toaster at this point. If you can't run Dolphin on your machine, you need to get a new PC. <laughs> I'm, I'm just gonna, I'm not even trying to sound elitist there. If you can't run Dolphin on your machine, you need to get a new PC, because you are you must have, like, a super outdated graphics card or something, because you can run Dolphin on a crappy-ass integrated processor right now. Hell, it could run on a fucking Raspberry Pi. That goes to show, if you can run it on a Pi, you can run it on a crappy old desktop. Oh yeah, true, true. Because all you need is, like, you you can use a dual-core system to run Dolphin. Dual-core and basically just a crappy GTX 950 is literally all you need for Dolphin. That is all you need for Dolphin. Like, yeah, that's what I was saying. just like, a bare-bones graphics back. card and a bare-bones processor. Literally, that is all you need for Dolphin. It's not even funny. And I really do gotta try Dolphin, but I've got no games. Hit me up if you want to set up Dolphin, because I'll teach you how to set up Dolphin. Very easy. Probably one of the easiest emulators to set up. Unlike Simu. Simu is a pain in the ass to set up, but once you get it set up, it looks so good. No, you know what? You're not gonna like what I'm gonna say next. But, like, I have Dolphin, like, the Dolphin core inside RetroArch. I just have no actual, like, Don't GameCube fucking or... use RetroArch. Oh my god, dude. Use the fucking regular emulator. The Dolphin core of RetroArch is fucking from four years ago. Don't fucking use it. It's so outdated, so trash. Do not use it. Don't use RetroArch, period. It is so outdated and bad. I don't get why yeah, people really think it's okay. Able to have like all your games in uh, one place. But like, there are other softwares that combine emulators for you, like Mednefen. Except Mednefen doesn't support Dolphin. But my point stands. There are emulators yeah. that are multi-emulator boxes, essentially. 
Um, I actually used to use V- I used VBAM for the longest time. Until they- until MGBA was integrated into Dolphin. Once MGBA was integrated into Dolphin, I switched over immediately. And, uh, I'm not looking back. That being said, I'm very happy that I can play Four Swords now. In fact, I want to do a Four Swords stream, uh, sometime soon. Because it's now possible. Uh, the problem is... I have to find people who are willing to do that shit with me. And that's kind of hard to get four people to play, uh, Four Swords. Especially for people that have good, uh, good connection. VBAM... VBAM, you do need some pretty good resources for it. And it also has some weird bugs to it, so I do understand that. Ugh. Yeah. I keep talking my throat out, and it's actually starting to hurt for some reason. Oh, it lags on your notebook? It should not lag on your notebook. It should not lag on your notebook. I don't understand how that happens. I mean, yeah, it's dated, but I find that a bit odd. I find that odd that it lags on that. It seems a bit weird. I digress. MGBA is much more supported and much more optimized. So, I, so especially with Dolphin being integrated now, there's no other GBA emulator you should use. That being said, I do want to try something. I do want to try something sometime. I have a save file for Superstar Saga from back in 2019. And with VBAM and VBA, there's a soft lock when you're fighting Queen Bean. I can't seem to get past that on VBAM or VBA. I want to see if I can do that on MGBA. Because if I can, I might do another playthrough of, uh, of Mario and Luigi Superstar Saga. Because I played through it back in 2019, and that was, uh, I had to play through it on Wii U Virtual Console at the time, because it didn't fucking work on VBAM. So I might just, uh, I might try to see if it works on MGBA or not. Hopefully it does. But if it doesn't, oh well. I can just do another playthrough on the Wii U. Because that's what I have that thing for. Great little console, I'll tell you. A Wii U is... A Wii U is hated by many, but it's a great console. It's just... The marketing for it was shit. And the third-party support was shit. It as a console and as a concept was a great idea. It's just... It was poorly implemented. No, I think, like, the Wii U... Like, if the Wii U was, like, a prototype for the Switch, that, like, I could, you know, accept that, but, like, the, the Wii U just sucks. Dude, I play... I love Splatoon 1. The problem I have with Splatoon 1 is that I I was too late to the Splatfests. I was late to the party. I got a Wii U... I think it was either Christmas of... Yeah, it was Christmas of 2015 that I got a Wii U. So, let that sink in. Splatoon, like, I, I, I actually got a Smash and Splatoon with my Wii U. It was the Smash Splat Deluxe set. So, it was a black Wii U with Smash and Splatoon pre-installed. Um, and I still want to try to get copies of those games before they're never findable again. But, um... Hmm. The problem with the problem with Splatoon One is that the chargers, the snipers, are super broken in that game. Kind of like how the rollers were in Splatoon Two for a little while, and then that changed. Man, I still gotta like try Splatoon. I've never really been into like shooters, but the whole like I've seen videos of it where it's like instead of being a shooter, it's like kind of like graffiti like turf. It's like, it's a shooter, really cool. but it also has its own take on it, which I find really fun. But yeah, Splatoon yeah. 1 was awesome. It's just I got into it a bit too late cuz uh when I played it uh and like when I got it for when I got Splatoon for Christmas of 2015, we had dial-up internet or not dial-up, but we still had DSL internet. So we had like 5 down, 1 up in megabits. That is not oh, enough God. to play Splatoon. I literally got I I threw a hissy fit at my dad and I'm like, "I can't play games online." So my dad complained to Verizon. Verizon was like, oh yeah, okay, we'll, we'll double your internet speeds. That was barely enough to play online. 
So then I was, so then I was like, your dad calls up the internet service provider and there he's like, my son needs to play Splatoon. No, he didn't say that, but, but he basically got her internet speeds to be a little bit faster, which was enough to play Splatoon, but that's about it. And then a year later, I eventually was like, dad, what, how much are you paying for the internet? And he's like, uh, this amount. And I'm like, well. I want to try to see if I can get something faster because it sucks. He's like, okay, well, go fucking on, go on your fucking internet, look up better prices for internet plans, and I'll buy the one that you find that is cheaper. So I found one that was cheaper and that was better, and it was on Xfinity. And I hate saying that because Xfinity is a ter is a terrible ISP. I hate Xfinity. Some oh, of the yeah, things have, are good, uh, but I hate Xfinity. the fact that they oh, are yeah. just a terrible ISP. They're one of those conglomerates that absolutely hates the customers. Xfinity, Verizon, even AT&T. They're all bad ISPs. I absolutely hate them. Yeah, but we... I guess I guess at least it's reliable. The one thing I can't complain about Xfinity is that they're like always reliable. I've never had an issue with my connection. And that is something that I couldn't say with uh, the Verizon connection I had back in like 2014. But yeah, I've never had issues, except for, like, the occasional downtime at, like, 2 in the morning, but no one's up at 2 in the morning, so honestly, I let that slide. They I mean, they like, do they do server worth, maintenance. It's like, every other week have issues with the internet. Like, every other week they do server maintenance at, like, 2 a.m., and I'm, like, fine with that. I, I understand that entirely. They update the drivers and shit. And, sure, it's annoying, but... You kind of, you kind of just have to deal with it as a risk. Yeah, that's like who's up at two a.m. Am I right? What a unique concept art. That's really cool, dude. Splatoon was Splatoon is Nintendo's biggest success in recent time, with the exception to the Switch, of course. But it's their most successful new IP. Arms was a failure. Um. It was just, Splatoon was amazing. It was an absolute success, and I love the franchise. They definitely did a great job with developing the background and the story and the environment of it. Yeah. The whole lore... Oh, the whole lore development... Ooh, yawn. The whole lore development for Splatoon is quite amazing, and I do enjoy the franchise quite a fair amount. I have to say, probably my favorite thing with Splatoon is the uh, Octo Expansion, the DLC that they made for uh, Splatoon 2 back in 2018. Definitely great. I love the pop culture. I'm a big 80s, 90s guy. I love, I love that era B a bit too much. And just the amount of Easter eggs and references and the music, the fucking music, man, is so good. Oh yeah, and of course you have like the whole, uh, you're a kid now, you're a squid now, like that thing. Uh, you love ARMS? Yeah, exactly. ARMS Arms was a nice idea, and it was made by the same people that made the Mario Kart engine. So, fun little fact, that game runs in Mario Kart's engine. Um, game engine. But yeah, it definitely failed. It definitely fell flat. They, they could have done so much more, and they definitely pushed hard on it back in 2017. But by, by the end of 2018, Nintendo knew it failed. Wait, like, what is ARMS exactly? Uh... It was like basically more or less a Switch tech demo of a game. It was a cool little tech demo of a game, but it it was fairly dull. It was definitely not worth the sixty dollars. It's basically a fighting game, but with motion controls. It's really cool. It's just not worth the money. His online name is Lean. He data mines and shit. He wrote a. Oh, okay, I I don't think I've heard of him, but that sounds pretty interesting. Also, it utilizes CUDA as in CUDA on the Switch, because I know the Switch has a uh, has an NVIDIA GPU on it. Does it use like does it use it through a soft modded uh, switch or does it use it through like a computer? Cause I know people who have like soft modded switches and overclocked them and shit, and have run like secondary programs and stuff. I'm not too familiar with homebrew on the Switch, but I do know that you can overclock the living hell out of it. Yeah. Oh, it utilizes your graphics card, so on PC then. On PC then. 
Because I know the uh, Switch has more or less an equivalent to a GT910 in it. Which is nothing. It's literally 256 CUDA cores. And that's compared to, like, what, the fucking 8,000 that my 3080 has? Something like that? <laughs> Let me look that up. How many, how many CUDA cores... CUDA core count for a 3080? Oh, no, it only has... Wait, no. How many CUDA cores does it have? It has 8,700. So I was right. It has 8,700 CUDA cores. That's compared to the Paul Street 256 that a Switch has. Heh. <laughs> That's funny. So, Kato, you're implying that it basically makes a randomizer? Because I know people that do uh, Sword Shield randomizers. Well, not Sword Shield randomizers. Uh, Platinum randomizers and shit like that. DS randomizers. Oh, and, yeah, I've seen Asper play a couple of those. Yeah, he he's done 3DS randomizers for Citra. Because Citra loves coding and uh, emulating only the Pokemon games. Because who gives a shit about the Zelda games and who gives a shit about the... Uh, the Mario games. Who gives a shit about those? All we care about is Pokemon. And then, oh yeah, the Switch came out? Let's move all of our development to Yuzu. Fuck yeah, the Pokemon Citra devs. Yeah, like one of the most overhyped, uh... The Yuzu like, devs can burn in a special place in hell. The Yuzu devs can burn in a special place in hell. I will always say that. If you ever want to emulate a Switch, use Ryu Jinx. Do not fucking use Yuzu. They do not deserve any support, and do not pay for the early access. You can get it for free through their GPL license. It is entirely free. Do not give them money they do not deserve. You know, like, you're saying it's one of those, like, open, like, quote-unquote open source softwares where you pay for it? It's an open source software, and they, they try to paywall it, but the thing is, you can get it for free. It's just, they don't want you to say, they don't want you to know that because... They make literally thousands of dollars a month off of it on their Patreon because they are greedy slobs. Meanwhile, Ryu Jinx, the uh, competitor emulator for the for Switch emulation, has done stuff way better than Yuzu has and has actually made code. Yuzu copies Ryu Jinx's code. That goes to show you how fucked up that is. They're literally copying the code. They're stealing the code from Ryu Jinx. That's a big no-no. Yeah, and then they're paywalling it, too. That's and then they're paywall. Exactly. It's disgusting. It's disgusting. It's a giant double standard. Giant fucking double standard. See, that's what I think. It's like, software should be free. Like, for the most part, the best, like, software, like, payment method is, like, you know, you have it for free. You have it, like, whatever. Personally, but then... I'm, I'm a try before I buy. If I like yeah. it, I'll pay you. And, exactly. and, and that's with anything, really. Like, if you do a good job at something, I feel like I should throw something your way. I feel obligated. But it, I, I feel like, oh, I paid $60 for this game and it sucks and I can't get a refund. Maybe I'll think twice about buying the next game. You ever think of that, companies? You ever think of that? You, you, you wonder why, uh, you wonder why some people, uh, get a PC for reasons that they don't have to pay for games, wink, wink. Um, you should be careful about who you make enemies with. Just saying. Not naming names, but I do know people who do that. And honestly, I think it's justified. If you get burned from a publisher because they made a bad game, I feel like, I feel like you have the right to more or less extract revenge by more or less protesting. Whether... Whether it borderlines uh, legality or not. I'll just say it like that. Now, legality, legality, more like legalities. Huh? Yeah, I don't know, I'm really tired. You're high. Quit smoking weed. I don't fucking know. No, honestly, Ooh, that's why I gotta make sure to sleep is because, like, I literally feel like I'm so sober, but, like, when I get tired, it's, I feel like I'm tired. Well, apparently, when you're sleep-deprived, you act like you have a blood alcohol of, like, 0.1 or something like that after so many hours of lack of sleep. 
It's oh, a, yeah. it's a very weird study, but it's actually like really true and it's very fucking weird. Yeah, I think I've seen that. I've also heard like sleeping, which no one even realizes that, but like sleeping driving is uh worse than you know drunk driving. Hey, that guy tutored me in university. Dude, imagine, imagine if only. Ah oh, yes, I love getting hit by a stray banana. It's great, fucking amazing. Also, uh, Kato, I have a really bad joke. Let me think of it for a second. Okay, so this woman's dog fell into a uh, lake full of ice. It was a frozen lake. So uh, this German guy jumps into the ice lake to rescue the dog. And um, he fetches the dog out, gives it, to, gives it to the woman, and she's like, Are you a vet? And the German guy goes like, Vet, I'm fucking soaking! <laughs> There's your bad joke for the day. It's, like such, a, such, a it's such a stupid joke making fun of a German accent. I love it. Vet, I'm fucking soaking. Ah. Uh. Welcome to J6's Terrible Puns. Also, Ferras at the 69! Nice. Oh yeah, that's a good 69. Huh? <laughs> nice. I just realized, is that emote... That emote is a character from Resident Evil. I can't put my finger on who that is. But I know that's Resident Evil, because I've seen that logo. I've seen that logo. I forget her name, but I know that's a Resident Evil character. Because there's this one nerdy girl in my high school. She had that logo emblem on her uh, backpack. And I asked her what it was from, and she's like, Oh yeah, it's from Resident Evil 4. I think it was Resident Evil 4. I could be wrong. It's Jill. Okay. Is Jill from Resident Evil 4, or is it 2? It's either 2 or 4. There are so many Resident Evils, man. I get confused by them all the time. I can't tell which one is fucking which anymore. I really can't. All I know is that 8 is the one with the big, uh, big, tall, thick vampire, uh, girlfriend. Waifu. And if you oh, know no, who she is, finger. you know who she is. Lady Dimitrescu. Big, uh, big, tall, like, 8 foot tall vampire waifu. Oh, we're thinking of different things. No, no, you're, you're thinking of something different. No, I'm thinking of, a uh, Lady Dimitrescu. I think that's how you pronounce her name. Ah, oh, fuck you. Fuck whoever you. Whoever did that electricity. Yo, mom's a ho! Yes, I'm glad you know that meme. Of course I do, it's a vine! It's a fucking vine, man. Of course I know it. I wonder whatever happened to the your mom's a ho teacher, cause like it's like very hard to find teachers who are that brutally honest. You just haven't looked hard enough. Oh really? Well, I've had some brutally honest teachers. I've had some very weird teachers in high school. Very interesting teachers. I also had some really sweet ones. But um I'd say my one psychology slash World War II teacher was great. Um, was she my psychology teacher? No, she taught psychology. She was my World War II teacher. I had the other one for psychology. I'm not going to say their names because I 
feel like that I should be decent about that. But, um, she was also the academic team coach. And, um, which is basically nerds against other nerds. Really fun little thing. Yeah, I remember my favorite teachers where I had, like, a ecology teacher. Who, like, even though, like, we're never going to use ecology, like, in our lives, guys, like, more for scientists who, like, want to go into that field. He was so, like, pretty cool. And he's like, oh, we have to learn this science because you're, you're kind of told to since it's, like, required class. But we can have, like, fun while we do it. Those were his, like, first words on the first day. And then we went to, like, so many nature field trips. Even less, like, have class well, that, outside. Well, that's like, how you do. Amazing. That's how you do one of those classes right you you exactly. do field trips that are immersive you don't just do dumb paperwork doing dumb paperwork only makes a class less appealing and less appealing if you want to make a class interactive and enjoyable you do field trips you watch movies <laughs> I'm, i know that sounds like counteractive to how it works but no like watching schoolhouse rock in third grade you may think of that as just a stupid ADHD activity, but hey, kids actually learn from that shit. I learned from that shit. I am a school rock hawk. A school <laughs> rock hawk? Is that what you said? Huh? I didn't okay. know you were gay. Uh, well, the, the school thing, the house... Schoolhouse music. rock. Yes, schoolhouse rock. Oh. I almost said something really bad there. Jill appears in 1, 3, 5, and Revelations 1. Okay, okay. If you can't tell, I know nothing about Resident Evil. <laughs> I know nothing about RE. I am very uncultured when it comes to that franchise. Oh yeah, me too. All I I'm know is that 4 is like overrated, 2 is also overrated, and um... Resident Evil, uh, like, uh, Capcom is just very dumb about, uh, Resident Evil remakes. So dumb that they even let their fans make one for them, essentially. <laughs> oh, yeah, that's how you do fan games, right? Like, when they make a Resident We've Evil... We've talked about like, this oh, before, yeah, that is exactly like how you do fan games. Game. You let the fans make them for you. Yep. Shit. Oh, Ferris, I hope you enjoy your first for a little while, bud. Actually, never mind. Oh, I'm sorry, man. I get that. I get that. I get karma. I'm I'm honestly fine with that. I deserve that. I, I can't even get mad at that crap. I can't get mad at that. That's just well-deserved, to be quite honest with you. The moment when Yoshi gets crushed by the Yoshi egg. Ironic. He could save others, but not himself. What came first, the Yoshi or the Yoshi egg? Um, the egg. But who laid the Yoshi egg? Uh, premutation of a Yoshi. So the premutation of a Yoshi came first, but then... But then the egg of a Yoshi came after that, and then an actual Yoshi came after that because the it was in the egg. You even egg bro? What are you gay? Who says I'm gay? You are gay. I did. You are transgender. <laughs> I love that meme. Great meme. <laughs> Top 10 memes, number one. What's even funnier is later on in the interview when that, like, what, like pasta priest, whatever that guy was, like, pulls out vegetables to make his point. And he's like, this is a carrot. This is a banana. This is a cucumber. Oh my god, I didn't see that part. No, I, it's like you haven't watched the whole interview. I need to watch that whole interview. And then plus, like, the fact that they have Ugandan uh, accents just amplifies an already funny meme, like, by a thousand. Yeah. <sighs> so, Ferris, I must ask, if you've played Resident Evil, what's your favorite game in a franchise? 
And don't worry, I'll allow you to say two or four. <laughs> uh, I swear, four is like the Skyrim of Resident Evil. It's been ported to everything. The GameCube, the Wii, the PC like two or three times. Um, the PS3, the PS4, the like probably two of the Xbox generations. Um, it's on everything. It's it's the Skyrim of Resident Evil. And 2 is is like not that far behind it in the amount of ports and remakes it has. Oh god, that was a bit close. No, I don't want to drift that way. Shit. Green shells aren't going to help me, bud. <gasps> oh, that was so close. I'm actually curious how close that was. Oh, no! Yeah, that was going to happen. Oh, Kira, it's a great meme. It's an absolutely amazing meme. I love it. They're not just shooters, Kira. They're they're also they also have quite a bit of the puzzle elements to them, especially for and later. I mean, don't get me wrong, some of them are definitely more shooter. Like uh, I'm pretty sure 1 and 2 are very much shooter oriented, but they also have a lot of puzzles to them. Your favorite is RE1. And then the yeah, yeah. I heard one's pretty good. I heard one's pretty good. Wasn't one on the GBA as well, somehow? I mean, Resident Evil 2 being fit on a Nintendo 64 cartridge was already insane as it's uh, 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 alone. But somehow they got, uh... I, I think they got Resident Evil 1 on the GBA. It was just never released to the public, but I'm pretty sure they made a GBA cartridge of it. That was just never released to the public. And then they just put it on the DS instead. It was something like that. Something weird like that that, like, kind of blows my mind when I think about it. I mean, it like, wouldn't be too surprised. I do know, like, the GBA could do, like, a little bit of 3D, but really couldn't do much. Um, so a lot of, like, 3D games got portable, like, 2D platformer ports on the GBA. Yeah. I'm surprised here, because, like, shooters aren't my kind of cup of tea either, but I've played through Wolfenstein and Doom, for example. I definitely, like, if you get the game for free, definitely, tr like, don't hesitate to try Akira. Like, don't try to restrict yourself on what you play, I guess. Because it's definitely, like, I don't, like, I'm not a huge fan of, mu I'm not a huge fan of puzzle games, though, or... I say that and I enjoy some of them, but puzzle and horror, I don't know if I'd get along with that there very well. I, I'm one of those that enjoys watching them more than playing them. That's me with puzzle games in a nutshell. I enjoy watching them more than playing them. Uh, unless it's Zelda, and Zelda's more action adventure than puzzle. First person shooters are fun to watch, but like when you actually, at least for me, like when I go to play oh, them. Oh yeah, for some people, out. playing them just makes you want to die, but but watching them is very fun. If if you're watching someone good at them, aka not me, um, do not watch me play. Zelda just seems dumb in your opinion. You just you just made me very upset. You just made me very upset saying that, Cole. You just made me very upset. Zelda is a very good franchise. It's a lot of action adventure, but it also has like a pretty good story, even though it's a very fucked up kind of storyline. Um, that being said, it's it's a great franchise with like a lot of different puzzle elements to it. There are some games that are heavily flawed. Also, Pharos, Jesus Christ. Um, but the puzzles are often really intuitive and really cool. And there's a lot of them that, like, for a Game Boy game that you go, like, how the fuck did they get this on a Game Boy game? Like, uh, on Link's Awakening, which is a Game Boy game originally, you had to destroy four pillars to basically bring down a floor. 
You wouldn't expect to do that on a Game Boy game, but it's on a Game Boy game. Now, there are problems with the Zelda games, especially the first two on the NES. They suck. Uh, if you want a good Zelda game, play Link to the Past. Uh, if you want a 2D game, if you want a 3D game that is linear, play Twilight Princess. Do not play Ocarina of Time. Dated as hell. Overrated as fuck. Um, and if you want to play my favorite Zelda of all time, play Breath of the Wild. So, in, in that my order, Breath of the Wild, Twilight Princess, and Link to the Past are basically three different styles of Zelda that you can try out. They're all very great games, and if you ever get stuck, contact somebody that has played the games fairly often. I'm actually a Twilight Princess Link, but Breath of the Wild Link is a very nice alternative. I do want to cosplay as Breath of the Wild Link sometime, though. Problem is, oh, I like need to Link dye my hair blonde. Cool. I need to dye my hair extremely blonde, and I'd have to tie it up in a ponytail in the back. I have one local magazine somewhere with that new- Yeah! Yeah! Yeah, cause, uh... I, I, I knew they ported it to the Game Boy, they just never released it. I'm Don't not sell though, the Cole. I'm not CDI though. Stream, man. I'm not though, Cole. I don't care for that shit. That shit is kind of disgusting and creepy, in my opinion. I'm fine. I like there are certain people I'm okay with it. Like if if you're if you're a fan of that stuff, more power to you. I just find that shit creepy. And they're like it's kind of like the furry fan base in a way. Ninety percent of it is toxic. Ten percent of it is okay. It's that 10% that you gotta find. It's those diamonds in a rough in that fan base that are okay. It's it's just the the normalcy of the fan base is just disgusting. I don't know. Just my opinion. Now, uh, furries are more like interesting to observe from afar. Because they're like one of those kind of groups of people like online that's like, oh wow, these people actually exist and like do these things. And yeah, but th there are also, like, some of them that do certain things that creep me out. Not all of them do that kind of creepy stuff, but there are some that do, and it's just like, yeah, no thank you. I don't want to affiliate with those kinds of people. And they do get a bad rap as a result. It's like, a bunch of rotten apples spoil the bunch. And it's a sad fact, but that's with a lot of different groups, too. A lot of yeah, different groups. Lot of Especially, like, gaming communities, like... There are some that are obviously, like, really bad, but there are also some that I feel like get get way too much hate that they shouldn't. There are few and far in between, but there are some. Your three-month auto-redeemed? Nice. Damn, I missed you. But people say, like, Splatoon's fanbase is bad. I don't think Spl Splatoon's fanbase is bad, necessarily. Some of the people on it are pretty bad, but it's nowhere near as bad as Smash's fanbase. Smash's fanbase is fucking terrible, man. I will go to the end like, of the earth to say Smash's fanbase sucks. I think, like, the problem with fanbases is, like, most of the people in the fanbases are, like, a lot more quiet. They're, you know, like, they're good people. Well, there are quiet have, like, fan bases that are nice, and then there are, are, like, there are fan bases that are extra, absolutely terrible people. And then they become, like, the fan base stereotype. There are fan bases that are terrible, and then there are fan bases who, that are actually really nice people. Yeah. Oh, my controller just died. Oh, yeah, the moment when you have a wired pro controller. tell you like the pro controller so much better than the joy cons i'm glad i got this for my birthday a while back. oh my god dude my controller is dying please work oh no it's bouncing oh god i actually have to Oh god, what am I doing? Yeah, 
Yeah, I can't drift. I can't drift. Literally, this is why I don't play Joy-Cons next to my PC. Oh my god, guys. There is so much Bluetooth interference going on. It's not even funny. The lobby is probably going to disconnect. The lobby is probably going to disconnect in a second. Literally, look. Oh, wow. I am literally like six feet from my Switch. And the Bluetooth interference is amazing right now. Absolutely amazing right now. Look at this shit. Literally, my Switch is right down there. And I'm just getting Bluetooth interference up the ass. There we go. Finally connects. A bit too late for that. Yep, com error. Oh yeah, communication error. Oh my god, I have to let this charge. Yeah, detached joy cons don't work, and they're they're like special ones. They're third parties, but they work, and they actually have like they're better than regular joy cons. Even I'll argue. But that just goes to show, mate, they do not fucking like. Joy-Cons have such shitty Bluetooth antennae in them. They do not work. You need a pro controller to actually, to actually like, get stuff done. Yeah. But well, what that I and, do... like, Joy-Con drift is just really bad on my Joy-Cons as well. Yeah, hold on. One second, guys. Let me quickly fix this scenario. Uh, if I can get a plug uh, into my Switch, I can hopefully get a wired controller going. So, uh, you're gonna see... You're just gonna see this for a little while. So yeah, be patient guys, please. Uh, I appreciate it. I just need to uh, fix something. Dread in 10 days. It'll probably leak before then. I have some friends that do things. I'll probably let you know if they like it or not. Well, I think I'm gonna go head to, head to bed because my eyes are not All staying right, up. Alright, get some rest, Alex. Yeah. Have a good rest of the Mario Kart, yeah. Alright, thank you! Yeah, yeah, I know you want to explore. Fuck. Alright. First 2D Metroid in 19 years. Well, I mean, yeah, I'm pretty sure you're excited. I'm, like, certain you're excited. But I'll definitely have to let you know, uh, because there'll probably be review copies out and other things. Um, I may or may not have friends in certain fields. I may know people in high places. So I'll let you know how they think. That's the controller. Wow. And like that, it's like near full charge again, the fuck? I literally, I charge it for five minutes and now it's near full charge, the fuck? I'm confused, Nintendo. How does your controller charge so quickly? Huh? I don't believe you for a second that it's at half charge. I don't believe you for a fucking second. It's only an amp! It's literally only giving it, like, an amp charge. This thing has, like, what? Maybe a 10 watt hour battery? <sighs> I don't get it, man. I don't get it. Hold on. Give me another minute, guys. I'll let you join in the room. It can do 5 amps. Actually, it can do like 60 watts, 90 watts. But, um, this is a USB 2 plug, so it can probably only do 2.1 2 max. But this is coming from a, a port on the back of my PC, which is probably rated for half an amp.
All right, there we go. All right, controller's in. Phones are charging the phone like 30 minutes nowadays at the cost of their batteries lasting two years. <laughs> I'ma just be frank with you, Chief. At the cost of the batteries lasting two years. But that's the problem with lithium batteries. Lithium batteries suck. They age way too quickly. It's amazing how we've gotten a technology to make them bigger and last longer. Or, la or have more capacity. I should not say last longer, because last longer could be very objective here. We've gotten them to have more capacity, more density, but we have not given them the ability to last throughout more charges. There. Better wording. Better wording there. And now that I have my uh, controller plugged into the Switch, I can actually, like, get some more, uh... I can get some nice force feedback. Uh, if you want to join in, uh, go join the Discord. Uh, if you want to join in, join the Discord and, uh, go to the Mario Kart, uh, Mario Kart channel. Get the Mario Kart roll and you'll be able to see the friend code there. Let's do, uh, let's do Mute City this time, since, uh, the game may or may, or may not have just, like, shat itself because my controller died. Heh. Let's, let's try not to do that again. I hate when that happens. I, well, I also just never plug in my controller, because, uh, I just never need to. I don't know. I just never need to plug in my controller. So I just don't have the tendency of doing it. Oh yeah, when you plug in the, sw uh, the controller into the Switch, it gives it so much more feedback. Yeah, I should really do that. That's a bad habit. I leave mine unplugged and I just never plug it in. And that's a bad habit I have. Because I'm one of those people who's like, how do you not have your controllers plugged in, yet I don't plug them in myself? I always assume that the 40-hour battery life is going to last 40 hours, and it doesn't. It lasts like 30 or so. I should just plug it in every week, but I always forget to plug it in every week. <laughs> it's just a bad tendency, I guess. I don't know. Ah, that is that is smart. I have one too. I just don't have it hooked up to that. I have everything else hooked up to that. Explain your load times. Huh? How would that affect your load times? Oh, charge times. Those like load times. The fuck you on? That shouldn't affect your switch at all. But no, I got you. I got you. German mix up. Yeah, I was about to say that sounds like a lost in translation thing. That sounds like a lost in translation. Nah, I get that. I get that. That happens with a lot of Spanish speaking friends I have. I'm pretty sure Ferras, you can relate. You and Geo, I can relate. Geo, uh. Geo definitely speaks in broken English sometimes. <laughs> not You not so much, Ferris, but he definitely speaks in broken English more. No offense to him, I know he's trying his best, and I appreciate it. It's just I find it quite entertaining sometimes. <laughs> it can also mean low time of translate literally. Yeah, yeah, I get that. But yeah, everything gets lost in translation. It's normal. It's it's a thing that happens. It's all, it will always happen. As long as we are humans and have different languages, it will always happen.
I was joke when Geo switches to English. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, can I do the thing in the thing? And and I and I just go like, you can just say this. <laughs> in the back of my head, I'm just like, dude, you can just say it like this. <laughs> oh. Hey, he's trying though. He's trying, and I can't blame him. It's it's a hard language. English is a terrible language to learn. It's a very useful language to learn, but it's also probably one of the worst worst languages you can learn. Oh, it's such a bad language. We have so many double standards in our language. It's stupid. You're gonna head to bed now. Yeah, get some rest, man. Please. You have a good night. But yeah, like, whenever I read someone, like, that isn't a native English speaker, and whenever I can tell that, yeah, uh, it's de you're definitely not a native English speaker, it kind of reminds me of uh, when I played through Book of Mario, which is basically just a Google-translated version of Paper Mario, which is one of my favorite games. And it's just hilarious. Because it's just, like, broken English up the wazoo, and sometimes, it, like, it doesn't even make sense. It's like... Like, I, I, I remember Goombas were translated to fish, and uh, a spiked Goomba was literally called a fucking Goomba. Like, that's peak comedy for me. I, I, find, I find hilarity in poorly translated stuff. I don't know. I find it hilarious, and I don't mean in a mean way. I mean it in a funny way. I think it's funny. I find it a, as a good way to laugh it off as everybody makes mistakes. I don't know, I just, I like, I'm very forgiving with that kind of stuff, I, I think. I'll just poke fun at it and just go like, yeah, you're learning, I get it, I get it, I completely understand. Your bad pronunciation? Um... Okay, um... I, I couldn't really judge on that because I don't think I've heard you... Like, I don't think I've heard your voice. But you definitely spell stuff pretty damn accurately. Like, I applaud you with that. You can pronounce stuff spot on. Or not pro um, spell stuff, not pronounce. Spell stuff. You can spell stuff spot on. Um... I don't know about pronouncing though because I've never talked with you like, through voice chat or anything. But, uh, you definitely know how to type. You definitely know how to type the language, and I definitely applaud you for that, because it's definitely a hard language to learn how to type. Because, again, we have a lot of dumb stuff. Pronouncing it is also an absolute pain in the ass. We have a lot of weird con contractions and other stuff. There was this one video that I watched about the English language being dumb. Um, I'll have to find it and share it with you. Cause you'll probably find some you'll probably find some comedy out of it. I always love making fun of languages just in general. And I'll have to get you that video. I think it's literally just called English is Dumb. Something like that. It's it's something very simple like that, and I find it hilarious. Cause English is a very dumb language. Always has been, always will be. There we go. Grab that. Ooh. Nope. Not clear, not clear, not clear. Aw, damn it. I barely missed the pile on there. Crap. I got struck out of the sky.
Hmm. Can I pull this off? Can I pull this off? Shit. Oh, oh my god. <laughs> that was an adrenaline loop. That was an adrenaline loop. I don't think you know how much I panicked there. Oh crap. I ate that corner a bit funny. Here, let me look up that video. Nope, that's not it. I have to find it somewhere. I have to find that video somewhere, because I know I've seen it. Uh... Yeah, the English language is a giant meme. I found it. I found it. Okay, so, uh... Feras, if you check meme dump... In fact, I think I know... There you go. I think I pinged you. Definitely re- uh, definitely listen to that video. It's very funny, cause, um, it just shows how stupid the English language is. It's- it's super stupid. Yeah, that was a very close race, man. Very close race. I have to say, you're pretty good, man. Throw that behind. Pick up more money. Become Mr. Krabs. Grab all the money. Why did you build a second Krusty Krabs location? Money! Uh, nuclear bomb inbound. Aw, oh, damn. Really? Did I just get a second bomb? Game. Game Y. <laughs> okay, there we go. Now I'm gonna get sm uh, smited or smitten. There we go. Smite me. Smite with all your items. Oh god, no. That's too much smite. Too much smite. <laughs> too much smite. I think he has my bomb now. Did he get two boos? He got two boos, didn't he? He got two boos. I didn't know that was possible. That's actually kind of cool. I didn't know you could do that in this game. That's kind of cool. Today I learned something. Oh. Did you get two boos there? Cuz that's actually really cool. I didn't I didn't know that was possible. Yeah, two boos. Nice. That was a close one, Joe. Caitlin, if you're uh, still in chat, you can join in again. It just bugged out and dumb things happened. But yeah, you're more than welcome to join in again. It's just my controller died. It died. Two boos, yeah. T O T O boos. To boos you go. <laughs> Again, the English language is stupid. We have two, two, and two. Also, I why did I pick that race again? We have two, two, and two. Two. Me too, and two. We also have through, 
as in throwing something, through as in going between or through something, and then we have, um, I think we have another through. I just can't think of it off the top of my head. And then we have there, there, and there. They are theirs, as in, like, so something a person owns, and over there. Again, English language is stupid. Honestly, though, we're redoing this race. I think it's a. I think it's time for a rematch. I feel like. I feel like it's rematch time. You deserve this win. There we go. There we go. There we go. All right, we're good. I only got what I am from that. That's not good. <laughs> Shit. Oh, I was trying to throw that backwards, not forwards. No! <laughs> there we go. The topple has happened. The toppling has happened. No, Bowser Jr., don't do it. Crap. Okay, I have a shell to counter that. Just outrun the red. The red hit the barrel. We're okay. You know what? I'm gonna play nice. I'm gonna play defensive. I'm gonna play defensive. That was close. That was very close. Scratched the back of my head there. I feel like a dog. Like whenever you scratch a certain part, like a like whenever you scratch a certain nerve, and it just feels really good, so you keep scratching at it. I don't know. Dog mindset. <laughs> go back to monkey. More like go back to a uh, thing that scratches the back of your neck. Did I ever mention you have good taste in tracks? Because you do. I love this track. Very good track. That's going to hit the pylon. Completely worthless. That's a coin. Completely worthless because I already have 10. Oh, God. oh no. That just threw me off my groove. That just entirely threw me off my group. Uh, okay. Hey, I'm glad. I'm glad. I'm glad you saw it. It's pretty entertaining. It's pretty entertaining. All right, shortcut time. Oh, I took that a bit wide. We're okay, we're okay. We are okay. see I can't see okay we're good hmm interesting Joe interesting you only get 640 points per hour 
That's definitely not a lot. That's definitely not a mass amount of points. Holy shit, you're gonna be massing these fucking things. You kind of scare me, man. You kind of scare me. Hmm. Cloud top. Clout cruise. go definitely don't look at channel points Joe don't look at channel points please how many do I get from this um I don't know but thank you for 1500 bits Joe I appreciate it three fifty hmm is it daily? Is it a sheer daily or is it a sheer monthly or weekly? I forget actually. I'm not too well versed in how you get channel points. Oh my god, Ferris, you're miles ahead, man. You're fucking miles. Oi, man. Let's see if I can play catch up. I'm not playing catch up when I hit bananas. I won't tell you yet. I mean, I can just look it up. The joke is, I can just look it up. That's the thing, I can just look it up, Joe. So even if you don't tell me, I'll know after this race. He's getting smarter, chat. Dude, I've been smart. I just act stupid sometimes. AKA all the time. It's a, it's part of having ADHD. I just don't pay attention. Ever. I'm just dumb as fuck when it comes to paying attention. I was looking behind myself. Fucking no! No! Oh my god. Dude. That was clutch. Giving bits doesn't give points anymore? That's dumb. So yeah, how to earn them. For oh, it's monthly. Monthly cheer is 350. Participate in a raid is 250. Watch streak is what makes you the most. And then, of course, tier 3 doubles everything. Which is why you have tier 3 in the first place. Um, gifting a sub gives you 500. But I believe you've done that already. And, um, of course, claiming the bonuses gives you 50 and watching every 5 minutes gives you 10. So yeah, I just looked that up. All I had to do was go and, like, click, I believe it was the, yeah, click the channel point counter and then click how to earn. How to earn. There we go. Crap. That's going after me. Yup. I should have held on to that shell. No! <laughs> Get karma -ed. This motherfucker just took a fucking banana head, head first. 
Head first, you took that banana. About that, Joe. Yeah, about that. Yo, Sky! How's it going, man? How's it going, tech support? Wait, Joe, you leaving? If so, then bye, sad face. Enter college and now busy. Yikes. I hope it's not beating the shit out of you too much. I still need to get my A plus cert. I've been holding that up for the longest time. Yeah. <laughs> Good job! What are you trying to major in? If I may ask. You want to do a Final Four, Feras? Just four more races to end off? Engineering. Ah. Computer science. Oh, so you're going into coding. I tried to go in there and I absolutely hated it, but I also tried Java, and Java is not a good code to learn. Not a good language to learn. Do not learn Java. It will make you hate coding for the rest of your life. Learn Python or something, please. Learn Python. Python is much friendlier. The reason I hate Java is because of arrays. Arrays just absolutely demotivate me from using Java. You know Python? Yeah, Python's pretty good. I actually have a, like, I don't know it myself, but I have a friend that uh, knows how to, uh, that has made a music bot for me. Uh, he's made a music bot for me using Python. And, um, I love it. Um... Due to due to Groovy and uh, Rhythm being shut down on Discord, he basically made a Discord bot for me, and I hosted on a little Raspberry Pi. Oh, dude, Java's messy as all fuck. Yeah, of course it is. It's an ancient language at this point. Well, so is C and Python and all the others, but... Python, I believe, is slightly newer. At least I want to say it's slightly newer. I could be entirely wrong. Yeah, it still gets a lot of usage, which is kind of nuts when you think about it. Because, like, it's ancient by today's standards. But people still use it. And C Sharp is basically just a Microsoft version of uh, Java. It's literally just a Microsoft uh, Java. And of course, Python, as we all know, is basically just stereotypes for, like, RenPy games like DDLC and stuff like that. But it also has a lot of other uses to it, too. Python's just interesting. It's like the most friendliest thing to use. But I've just... I I got burned out of Java and I just will never code again. I'll stick to my hardware. I'll stick to being a hardware enthusiast. Oh yeah, yeah. No, I've, I, I heard it's pretty hard once you get into the... once you get into high end. At low end, it's a great beginner's language, but it's not a good master language. Oh fuck, fuck, fuck! That's not good. I just... That's not good either. Oh, I'm getting hit by everything. I'm not getting hit by everything. I'm hitting everything. I'm sorry. I'm driving like a drunk grandma. I'm driving like a drunk grandma after a bingo meeting. Okay. I don't think you could get any more stereotypical than that. 
Oh my. Alright, I'm on the beanstalk. That's all the- Fuck! No! Oh! Damn. Damn, the bean- I, I thought I had enough for momentum to get off the beanstalk. Oh, dude. That hurts. That hurts. With like four seconds of lead that he magically lost. Dude, that fucking hurt, man. That was like a pile of bricks. That was like a pile of bricks right there, Chief. That hurt. All in all, you're just a another brick in the wall. You're cultured. But you know that already. You're cultured. I love that. Re I love how I can understand that reference. That makes me happy. It's people like you that give me some hope in humanity. That understand music like that. It's people like you, Sky. It's people like you. I just want you to know that. I appreciate people like you that love that kind of music. We don't need no education. We don't need no thought control. The dark sarcasm in the classroom. Hey, teacher, leave them kids alone. Oh, I took a high jump there. All in all, you're just a another brick in the wall. I mean, I listen to like, I listen to stuff as tame as like pop, like from the, from the like 60s and country from like the 60s as well. I listen to stuff as tame as that. And stuff as like heavy metals like Guns N' Roses and Metallica and Black Sabbath. And then I also listen to like weird shit like Electro Trance and other stuff like that. My one friend Kira and a couple other people got me into trance music and I really enjoy it. No! No! Oh my god! No! Oh my god! Oh my god. Oh my god. Oh my god. <laughs> Fuck. Oh my god. I'm sorry, I can't- No. No, man, no. No. Oh my. Holy shit. I can't even. Dude, it's so hard to get a banana snipe like that. It feels so good when you do that shit, man. Oh, man. <laughs> DK is proud of you. Yes, the dong is proud of me. Expand dong. Excuse me. Excuse me. Double bump. Oh, is that red shell going to? Ah, crap. Oh, oh no! Oh, you decked me! Oh. That was rude. Good play, though. That was a very good play. Cut over a little bit. Cut over again. Make sure I don't run to the front of the plant. God 
Damn you, AI. Most people with similar tastes to me hate the 90s. I mean, Nirvana's amazing, Linkin Park's pretty good, and then you have stuff like, um... Metallica was of that age, I guess, technically. But, um, there are a lot of, there are a lot of decent bands from then. There, there are a lot, uh, there are a lot of decent bands from late thousands, early tens, like, um... Crap, I can't think of their names off the top of my head. Who, uh, Gorillaz. Gorillaz is a really good band. Um, a lot of their music is decent-ish. Late 80s? Oh, okay, late 80s. Okay, I thought they did stuff in the 90s, too. Like, late 90s. I thought they were, like, late 80s up to early 1000s, but I guess I'm wrong. Come back here. Oh, you bitch! You bitch! You bitch! Alright, let's do Big Blue for the finale. The grand finale. Big Blue. You kind of oh okay. Um, what's your favorite song of theirs? Cause mine is probably one, but uh, "Fight Fire with Fire" is pretty nice. But yeah, they have, they have a lot of decent music, but I can understand why. Seek and destroy. That's pretty good. Oh yeah, Master Puppets I like. Master Puppets, um... Gran Azul! <laughs> yeah! Hello, PSN. This is the final race of the stream. So you came in right at the tail end. But yeah, Master Puppets I really enjoy, because it's about, like, a guy being addicted to drugs, and it's a really sad story about that. There's also one, which is about World War One, and basically this quadriplegic who can't see, uh, can't hear, and basically just repeatedly says, kill me. Because it, it's just a sad story about this guy that... Uh, S-O-A-D, 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 what is that? I'm... I'm drawing a blank and I feel very stupid right now. I'm drawing an absolute blank. Pardon me for being stupid. System of Down! Oh, yeah, System of Down. Yeah, they're pretty good. They're pretty good. I can agree with you on that. Especially Table. Dude. At this point, System of a Down, I don't even listen to their actual music. I just listen to Table. I just listen to Table, which is literally just Chop Suey, but every lyric is Table. Unironically. I don't know why. It's maybe just because I'm autistic or something, but I love that, ver that remix of the song where it's literally just the guy saying Table. Everything is table. Chop suey, but every lyric is table. It's just table! Table two 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 table! Table two 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 tap 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 table two 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 table! Table two 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 table! Table two 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 table! It's just repeated tables. I love it. I don't know why I find it so fucking funny, but I do. Like, every single word, even the background words, are table. It's so dank, I love it. Yeah, you beat me! Good job, man. Good job. But yeah, um, to anybody in chat, I greatly appreciate y'all being here. Feras, thank you for racing with me all, all night tonight. And to anybody else that raced with me, thank you, I greatly appreciate it. And, uh... Oh yeah, their lyrics are really good. Um... What's that? What's that song? Uh, BYOB? No, it's not called BYOB. What is it called? Is it called BYOB? I forget what it's called. <laughs> it is BYOB. Okay, yeah, that's a really good song, too. Um, why don't presidents fight the war? Why do they always send the poor? Th that, that kind of music I, I enjoy. Like, System of Down is pretty good. Um, there, there's another, there's another, because, of course, I listen to meme music. Aerials and Tables is another great System of a Down remix of a song that I enjoy. But yeah, um... 
other than the meme songs, of course, their their actual music is pretty good too. If anything, I learn, I get inspired to actually listen to the actual songs because of the meme music, and I've actually learned a lot of artists through that shit. You may you may think that's very stupid and very zoomer to say, but a lot of the later bands, like like a lot of the later bands, I learned from that stuff, and um, I enjoy them now. I enjoy listening to their music now because of that unintentionally i guess but hey i guess we all learn how to find out about good music somehow be it through memes or be it through like actual conventional means but yeah uh it's getting pretty late yeah you don't care about sources exactly i just i just find the music i pick it up from somewhere music is music exactly but yeah um as long as it's not camel by camel if you know, you know. If you know, you know. Uh, anyways, you all take care. I'm going to head out. It's almost 11.30 here, and I need to get some sleep. Yeah, memes are pop culture at this point. Exactly. Memes are pop culture. But yeah, you all take care. I'll probably see you tomorrow. I don't know if I'm going to try to do Payday 2 or not. I want to try to do Payday 2 tomorrow, but I don't think that's going to happen. But if that doesn't happen, we'll probably do Jackbox or something. But yeah, you all take care. I'll see you tomorrow. Bye-bye.